<laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm missing all the jokes, you guys. It was the, it was family the clarity guy. is already happening. Family guy. I don't know if we could have not quite a joke, there. just a just a reference. Family been, guy. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. But I did record it. Sorry, everybody, but I didn't know any better. But I yeah, just I, I love needed, that. I needed to announce that that okay, you know you, the bird is the word. So. I wanted to tell you all what I, one of the things I learned since last week. It's been bothering me all week. And I want to tell, especially Carl, because Carl and I talked about this extensively in the, and then we were on the same team last week. Um, I was absolutely positive that the state of Connecticut did not have an Atlantic Ocean. When we remember the question about what what, which of the 13 colonies yeah. had an Atlantic Ocean? Well, I, I, I absolutely insisted it didn't. And I did that from personal knowledge. I mean, I spent the first third of my life living on Long Island and four years of it on the north shore of Long Island across from Connecticut, which is on the other side of the Long Island Sound, <laughs> not the Pacific, the Atlantic Ocean, right? Mm -hmm. So I was absolutely positive it did not have an Atlantic Ocean. It was on the mm -hmm. Long Island Sound. And then uh, we were wrong. The get the credit for the, for the question. I guess the question is, is a sound or a bay, which is directly connected to an ocean, not part of that ocean? Well, I looked at that. I looked at, it's called the Long Island Sound, and everybody there called it the Long Island Sound. We had a, we actually had a, a ferry that went across to Connecticut. Yeah, to me, to me, it's like, is your arm still part of Gale? I would say yes, even though it's an arm. Uh, do you so do you call do you call do you call the do you call the Caribbean the Atlantic? It's part of the exactly. Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the, all the Atlantic 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 are the Caribbean. Well, lakes are Panama lakes Canal are not connected to the ocean. Yeah. So what's the but they connected so to the other lake? So what's the sound Long Island makes? I got to. I, I, yeah, I that was going to be my question. What sound does the Long Island make? He said the Long Island. Sound. <laughs> no. what's, uh, so what's I the looked it. I I looked it up, and I found the map. And what it did, I'd never seen anything like this before. So I I was absolutely amused by it. According to the map, is a line, an an, an east west line across the Long Island Sound. South of a line, it's called the Long Island Sound, and north of a line, it's called the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I never heard that before, saw it before, but that's why they say that it's connected to the Atlantic Ocean. Romero's. Well, do we get to change our scores? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> hey, we won. I learned something. I learned something too. I was listening to Scring. I learned something all the time though, but. I was listening to Squaring the Strange and Adrian was talking about, was there on Squaring the Strange and they're talking about the new Barbie movie. You guys better have seen it. Pretty I listened much. to it. I listened to it. But... And she said, they explained the very last line of the movie. And I watched the movie and I was like, what the hell was that all about? And, it, and the people we were with were like, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what and somebody said. Oh, it was this. And somebody said, no, it was this. And I was like, I didn't quite get it. And then Ad, um, Celestia uh, said it. And I was like, oh, Why were they talking I can't about... say anything if you haven't seen well, the movie. No, I have. Why were they talking about Barbie on Scaring the Strange? There's a lot of Barbie uh, folklore and Barbie myths and conspiracy theories. There's a <laughs> lot of Barbie. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. Gotta listen to the episode. New to, new to me. Really, yeah, really, Rob. Where have you been? It was fun. It was a fun episode. It was a wonderful. Yeah. Hi, Bill. In folklore. Hi. It's a doll. It's a kid's doll. <laughs> well, that's the point. It's not it, like Sasquatch. It's also uh Ben Ben has is an expert on um his uh his uh, master's thesis was on eating disorders and mm. how the media influences um young women and things like that on, mm. on and so this fell right into it because it was does barbie do that that i mean that was huge mm -hmm. the, the whole argument was that barbie just gives girls so it's about how, how it affects culture weight okay. and all that and ben's like oh no that's not true because there has not been a study on it there's no documentation on it but they keep saying there's documentation on it but every time you go back to the Let's go back to the study. Let's see it. Let's see it. They're, they can't show it. And it turns out it's like a page in some book somewhere. And it's not even a, it's not even what it's talking about. But it was very interesting. Hi, Faith. 
It was really interesting. I hear you're getting a couple cats from uh, Faith. Romero was just talking about it. I'm sorry if I ruined the surprise. We're, we're not getting a couple cats. I just suggested kittens. it to oh, I'm sorry, kittens. What, no, I suggested it to him because one of the local shelters is at capacity and yeah, is going to euthanizing. Romero so. was just telling us all about it. Oh, oh, where are you? Uh, <laughs> how did you, what, did you post that on Facebook? I didn't post anything about it on Facebook. Oh. Maybe Susan, do you not understand? You're, you're psychic. You're psychic. I am you're so psychic. intuitive. I am so intuitive. Are you connected to our Amazon device? I can't talk about how I know these things, but I just know these things. And it's just a, it's a gift. It's a gift. No, I'm you're doing like cold psychic. reading. I'm just hot reading. I'm not. It's like red lights, you know, where you, you pretend you're not psychic, but you're actually psychic. So, Susan, are you saying you're psychotic or psychic? <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk about that it, it's a little ah tough. yes so that's the way it is God, i'm just coming out with the one-liners tonight holy Boy, i'm glad i'm recording that i'm telling you mm -hmm. What's happening here? oh i know and jane has been putting up some pictures of her she shed you guys gotta check it out on her facebook page oh my gosh it's so beautiful your hydrangeas are amazing looking jane i have I... in the back that aren't doing anything but green <laughs> Well, I've been feeding them and taking, you know. Uh, oh, who have you feeding them? Have you been feeding them frogs? <laughs> like, yeah, like man, hydrangeas. <laughs> <laughs> He's been feeding them worms. Oh, I don't know. My, 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 my internet went rah, 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 for some reason. That's weird because I shouldn't have any problems. Okay, Jane in California. Jane in California. <laughs> Ramiro, Ramiro's realizing that you just read him, Susan. Not really. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah, well, you did. You did. You knew our cat well, died like two months ago, or three months time. ago. It's time. I I felt that. You, that and you, he just. <laughs> I thought that maybe Faith had posted something on Facebook. And that that's why you asked me those read people's Facebook almost never. I saw Lee's and I saw Jane's, and that's about all I've seen. Oh, and I seen Janine's wearing yellow. She's wearing her wedding dress from the 1960s. No, it wasn't my wedding dress, it was prom my prom, dress. my senior prom dress 1969. And she, the other dress that you made yourself, looks like something from the Little House on the Prairie. I know it's really heavy, too. Oh, oh my god, god. I put it on and I just I can hardly stand up. <laughs> I have I have a I have a prom dress that I bought just in case somebody asked me the prom and I didn't get out of the prom. I I was way too naive. Nobody should have asked me the prom. I probably would have, I don't know. I wouldn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> and so I ended up getting married in it. But I still have it. I don't think I could even put it on one of my legs. I was thinking, I was thinking I might I don't know where my my first wedding dress is because like it, it it's kind of like my my prairie dress <clears throat> I, but, but that's more 70s than 60s so everybody who's going to psychon don't forget you're going to come up with the 60s outfit i can't wait till carl's gonna he's got the best outfit he's been oh my gosh you can't believe what carl's come up for the 60s it's gonna be fascinating so, I'm, I'm curious do, to find out I, myself. Do, do you think there's going to be any less protests about the the 60s being bad for people, and we shouldn't have we shouldn't celebrate it in the 50s? Silly. Was well, silly. no, one person started it. It wasn't just one no, person. She just said it once, and nobody was meant to actually take that serious. Well, people just, did. You guys are people too boycotted. Too, what too what was the problem? Leanne Lord, uh, whenever I interviewed her and I said, "Hey, don't forget, you know, we got the 1950s." themed Halloween party coming up she says oh that was a bad time for for uh, African Americans so I'm not too excited about that and I left it in the article well it was more than that she said I'm not why would I go and and yep yeah. and then Calvin's and apathy boycotted it other people did Paula didn't want to go because and it, this it, it woman said that and it well was I'm just saying there's the no proof no one else is going to be my the god it's a party Jesus, Jesus Murphy <laughs> We're, uh, and then what? Leanne shows up to the party anyway and the, six, the 60s is good for blacks because that's when civil rights acts came fast. It's so. not, it, it, the whole thing is, it's just an era. 
you it's fun you make it's like halloween we don't i'm not arguing not with you i'm just saying halloween that it, there's it some caused enough of a ruckus i actually thought they stopped doing the the, the periods because the next few did not have the, i they mean weren't, this they weren't based on the decades opportunity to go is zombie jfk oh i like it <laughs> thank you for the idea oh, thank yeah. you for the idea hey mm -hmm. oh <laughs> that's good no i've already got my 60s outfit picked out i already have a 60s outfit so i can't mm. I, i'm not i'm not really kind of how about just lee harvey oswald looking for jfk would that go over good with a fake rifle that would be faith romero's uh um costume i think it's One still too soon yeah too soon <laughs> <laughs> but he's coming back any day now you know uh he's gonna be vice president well that's I junior have other that's, high that's school junior. clothes can i wear them i have my pep rally enough. uniform this is i was born in the 60s this, this isn't going to work for me i'd have to come to no. eight year old well i don't know come as a baby or something i am not doing that i like dressing up but it's i don't know we'll see oh um okay i can't forget to talk about that and I you can also do zombie clark gable and go around telling everybody you don't give a damn and zombie Jimi hendrix oh so they Wait, died in the clark gable 60s i don't Clark Gable yeah, died. No. People died in the 1960s, and Clark yeah, Gable comes yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Rob, you could go as yourself and say you're a time traveler. Mm -hmm. I, I I did no. that with I did that with the 50s. I was more yeah. like you, you can do that every time. And I am yeah. going to do it again. So shh. Well, see, I like your background. <laughs> Lock him up. <laughs> Rob, you could do it. Go as yourself and say you're a zombie. Lock him up. Yeah, I actually, I actually went to a zombie and won a prize for the costume one year to a local party. Um, I had either bronchitis or pneumonia, and I coughed so hard I blew out the capillaries in one of my eyes, so all <laughs> the white in my eye was red. That's so I dedication. Just, I just went with it. <laughs> it was great. People, how did you do that? That doesn't look fake. Oh, I think you can do it by inhaling paint too. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. You can have someone poke think, you in the uh -huh. eye with a needle repeatedly. Uh, oh. Yeah, that works too. Oh. oh my god, that would be awful. Oh. What dedication. Hurt. The coughing one was weird because I didn't even feel anything. And it was like, you know, I went to brush my teeth at night. Go, oh. It's like it doesn't hurt. It's just wow. Romero, change it to Faith Romero, please. And then Robin, who's not here, is going to be doing Oh, Brandy. Let me make sure I've got these right. Oh hi, Brandy. Cool. Somebody, I, I, oh, there's, there's Ben and Jordan. Hi, I, I um, um, forgot to get permission to let other people in. Who's doing oh, categories tonight? Okay, let's see. We've got Jamie, <clears throat> Bob, Carolyn, Faith, and Robin. I hope you guys all know. Faith is doing well. What's mm -hmm. going to happen with Romero? Well, they were I, I will be leaving him temporarily and then we'll make up an <laughs> offer. <back. clears throat> I'm having to start a new trivia book. <gasps> Which round am I? How many years? We're on. I'm on the fifth one. one. So, I mean, what round am I? Like one, two, three, or four? Thank you, You're, Carl. You are uh, fourth. Okay. There's Saunders. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so let's see. If I oh, he's not in the future. He's in my past now. California, girl, I didn't know. I, I don't know the words. I'm not far from you, Susan. Mm -hmm. You sure? I can almost throw throw a, a stone that way. All right. Karen is <coughs> Okay, yeah, Karen is Pegasus? in. Pegasus? Yep. Flying pig? Yeah. Cindy's not here. Cindy's not here. Caspian, where in the heck is Caspian? Is Adrian here? No, her son just showed up. Huh. She says she might show up later. I finally have a working computer. Yay! <coughs> I saw that last week. That's old news. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey Susan. Uh huh. Tim mm -hmm. Mendham tells me we're getting a flood of interest in our million, in our hundred thousand dollar challenge for me being oh, on is the that right? yeah nice. thank you for showing my sticker on in both both on two two shows i saw that let me tell you my eagle eyes picked out that sticker as soon as they like glanced at your screen that <laughs> it's on that long but man i saw it okay so i think we're okay um leonard's not here there's a lot of people where's everybody at you guys are all supposed to make sure you i should give you a buddy 
So that you have I think Leonard Leonard is not going to be here tonight. He said last week. He's oh yeah, he's gone. <clears throat> I haven't seen Wendy and Paula. Oh, uh, he would have loved my category. That's a shame. Every time I do one, that would be good for Leonard. He's not here. I always You're not to supposed to do categories for yeah, somebody. Him. Unless it's somebody who never... I'm not, I'm not specifically doing it for him, but like, you know, I know who knows what or would like yeah. what. Mm. <clears throat> Paul, I think it's the Hollywood... Like, like, like probably, let's see. Uh, I would think Richard and Lee oh, are, not gonna do, are not going to do good in my, is my suspicion. Interesting. Richard? Yes, ma'am. Oh, not Lee. Now wait a minute. Now, who who's the Canuck here? Alan. Alan. Why does everybody think Lee's a Canuck? Because because I heard that before. Alan. 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 And the. Well, I'm an honorary Canadian. I mean, I did live there. Before. He did. He was born there. Lee. I was not just, born there. Just just become Canadian. Just like Carl should just call himself Kyle. No, <laughs> I'm not Canadian either. Go with it. I guess just not. Don't. And right. Vincent. When I did that geography question, you know, everything south of Canada, now I'm going to be identified as a Canadian. <laughs> uh, Probably. Yeah, Susan, don't put Vincent Allen and, and uh, uh, Skookum Saunders on the same. Uh, spread that, the non-US non people out. They, they, get, may, get, they may get like zero on mine. Where's Jim? He says he's he always has trouble with his internet. So. Oh, is he coming right back? No, I doubt it. Oh, he's Canadian also. All right, go be free. And then I will. Uh, Bob is in here. Yeah, that's the first time I haven't seen Bob. Hope everything ends up being okay. Ah, uh, Wendy's moving. Okay. Do I get posted somewhere, Susan? Yep. I'm just going to look and see where I'm putting. You need a haircut. Do you do haircuts? No, hmm. I can't even comb my do my own hair. Yeah, your hair is getting long. Uh, we, you and I need to talk, so um, so we can line up a visit, so I can visit you. Well, we'll try. I don't know. All right, <laughs> I might just have to come up there, because you're going to be going to Oregon right about the time that I'm going to be coming down to. Um...
That's very interesting to have people watch me. And we're joined by Robin. I heard a voice in my head. Do you know what that voice said? Llamas are cool. Wrong number. Try back later. Oh, well, yeah. we we're trying to reach you to uh, renew but, your extended <laughs> warranty. I, I hope it wasn't like Son of Sam. Kill them, kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> well, you I'm know, curious what I don't kind of... wait to say what I what I heard in my head. So oh, it's there. worse than that. Oh, that's now you're really scaring me, Vincent. It might have been a mosquito. Uh, yeah, it could be a mosquito. <laughs> Oh, I'm so fortunate. Our city fights against mosquitoes like you couldn't possibly imagine. They poison the waters and everything. So we barely any mosquitoes in the city. We have uh, we have no mosquitoes here in our area either. It's a oh they we have an, a, a mosquito abatement place, so it's a big deal. They're all have, over at Jan, uh, uh, Jane's house with the frogs. <laughs> we have lots and lots and lots of mosquitoes. Well, Jane, as you can see, lives in a bog. <laughs> Isn't that a bog behind you, Jane? Oh, a she's swamp. talking about Jane in California. No, I'm talking about you, Jane. That looks like there's, <laughs> oh, there's two Jane behind you. You must have all the mosquitoes. <laughs> well, I have read that there there are there's a great, a great increase in mosquitoes in Oregon this year. So yeah, and the swallows that. are doing beautiful this yeah. year. There's so many babies. I can't believe it. I'm very there's excited. A, there's a bunch of mosquitoes. Thought about starting a mosquito breeding program. Well, Just to feed them all. Wait right until <laughs> after <laughs> after your uh, your uh, barbecue. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, don't. Please don't do that. And all another right. reason why we don't have mosquitoes here is because we're in a drought. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Oh boy, are we ever in a drought? Not here. We're doing okay. Yes, so are we. We're doing okay. Yes, All right. So we are here today. Thank you for joining me today in our 172nd game of the season four. I'm really curious what you guys have come up with. As usual, nothing's happening in the news. So you guys are going to have to really try really hard if you're finding anything that might happen to do with the news. So I don't know. You're probably going to have to plot some old boring names. We'll see. So uh, team number one, Bill, Jamie, Lee. Okay. Pee Wee Herman is dead. Doctors suspect a massive stroke. Oh. Do you remember what Pee Wee Herman was famous for at the yeah. end? Well, yes. Oh. oh you now you get wow. it. Oh, you're too wrong, soon. Jamie. Way too you're soon. Wrong. Jamie. Wow. Wow. You didn't, you didn't want me to make it a JFK thing. Wow. I feel a lot better about my Mitch McConnell joke now. Wow. I don't get it. <laughs> you don't, you don't was, get it. He was tending to the business of a, as a single that. man in an adult movie theater years ago. Oh, yeah. that. oh I, get it. I don't get these sex references. Have some, have like, some popcorn. Frank doesn't go there. Where's Deborah, by the way? Her brain is <laughs> that way. Where's Deborah? She would get it. Somebody text me. <laughs> get um, it? Well, she should be here anytime now because she's usually here at seven. Um, Jane from California. Janine. Robert. Um... We're too honest to win. Why is to win? What? Because everybody cheats each week, right? No. <laughs> we're we're hanging we're hanging with pants. This is really boring. You I, I'm pretty sure, Rob, that you have the constitutional power to just declare your score a ten in each round. Absolutely. Well, of course. Uh, Thank you. Charged. Are you are you are you going to be uh, my unnamed co-conspirator number one? No, well, I'll be the guy taking be... notes. Carolyn, <laughs> meticulous notes. Jane in Oregon, Peggy. Jane, did you want to say it? You say it, Carolyn. <laughs> Indictment, Schadenfreude. Mm. Okay, just type it in the chat, please. I don't have spot. Oh, I'm putting it, it in right now. Indictment, Schadenfreude. Okay. <laughs> now, Faith. Oh, we both good. Karen, Carl. Saunders. Oh, there it is. The secret word of the day is non-biologic humans. Where did I hear that? Was that Marjorie Taylor Green? 
Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> demons, so they're, Nobody they're demons. heard about the UFOs being they're demons. The UFOs are demons. Oh, okay. That's a little like. Lost Is that where that's from? I haven't heard it. Well, no, it's before. that David Grush guy. The, the, oh, that the, dude. We we created a variation on the concept of non-human biologics. Ah, non -human that's our biologic okay. humans. Okay, there you go. Well, that was one I had to think about. I don't know. All right, so team number five, Brandy, Gail, Vincent, and Robin. If a post on Twitter was a tweet, is a post on X and Eek? That's better. I don't know. That's what is better. It? If I don't know. Twitter, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I was swiping uh, the, the, uh, the home screen away on my phone, giving my second and third, and all of a sudden I see there's an X icon there. I go, yeah, what app is that? it says oh, X. They updated the Twitter one. It took the bird away. Yeah, it says X, but then they... My phone gives you what it is, like what's the, what's the, what's the icon for, and it says X. It looks so yeah. stupid. It's like this big black thing with. I, I want it off my screen. I probably have to move it somewhere. It's and, all ex post facto. And mm -hmm. he does also. He doesn't get any of the uh, the reason why it's called Twitter, why it's called a tweet, the bird, all the layers. I mean, he just really doesn't get. Well, for, from a little a bird told me he's missing all of that. Wow. Yeah, I think he's missing quite a lot, though, Karen. <laughs> From a branding perspective, he took one of the world's most globally recognized mm -hmm. names, yeah. something that if you do Google search for a particular term, it almost uniquely turns up related to that brand and, with and a, no, literally yeah. a generic placeholder name that if yeah. you Google it, will turn up everything in the universe. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and as is relevant to perhaps my category like even in, in the indictment it's like you know and then tweet said this and the tweet said that and the tweet said this mm -hmm. well, what do, you know mm -hmm. it's, it's bizarre that that's yeah, going what are away. we supposed to call a tweet now it's an x i guess it's an eek it's a an eek. Eek. Yeah. Eek. <laughs> this man is so stupid i get except, it except he has us all talking about him yes. don't we we're all talking about it so between vomiting yeah. <laughs> hey, he's just like Rebecca it. and Ted Lasso. He's trying to run it into the ground on purpose. I, yeah, I kind of think you might be right. Kevin is here. Speaking of throwing things up, uh, I'm just kidding. You just came I, I, in like an idea. I've never seen that show, Robin. Maybe you should do a trivia category on it. She already did. I know. <laughs> he didn't like it. I he didn't like it. it. Nobody liked it. Kevin. No. Kevin. Yeah. So I'm going to read two names from you. And you're not to say anything, anybody else. Pee Wee Herman is dead. Doctors suspect a massive stroke. Or we're too honest to win. I got to go with Pee Wee. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> you guys have, you have. <laughs> hey. Kevin. Oh, here you go. <laughs> so I can add Deborah to the other one now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, so Deborah, I was right. on the PV. Kevin, read, read aloud what I just posted in the chat. Yeah, Kevin. Three, three L Llama is a fire in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> Do, it again. Do it again. Three L Llama is a fire in Boston. Thank you. Uh, he's got to do it faster, I think. I know what it means, three L Llama. Three L Llama. Hey. We wanted to hear you say Llama. We were talking about llamas earlier and how it's said. We think Canadians do it weird. I'm waiting for Deborah to get here. Okay, so we have tonight, we have four, five. Hey, uh, somehow or other, I got five people that are going to be doing categories tonight. I want you to know the next two weeks, I am not writing the game. Rob said he would gladly do it, but we're going to give, make sure everybody has categories to do it. I know I'm, you are, but what am I? <laughs> I might be playing, but I will be on route to places so i won't be able to run it because i i don't know how anybody could possibly run this game from a from a one screen computer that would definitely... horrors one screen i, I can't even that's all i have is one oh, little weird. that's just oh here comes cindy <laughs> like the peasants there's just no way it freaks me out so we're gonna have to make sure we have everything booked up really soon and i'm going to put cindy down here oh cool so I had some that were kind of a little mean. That's okay. Now we got it all set up. Hi, Deborah. And hi, Cindy. Good. You guys got here. Said, Wait, did Deborah leave again? Deborah must have left. She, she has internet problems all the time. 
Cindy has a complaint. Partially because people yeah, gonna turn it off. Okay, so when Deborah gets here, she's going to be on the team two. Oh, there she is. Letting her show up. You've got my team, all women but me. Oh, that's so sweet. Here's Deborah. Pretty good. And oh, it's being flaky. She says, Okay, Deborah, we're just about to start. We just got the team names. Deborah, you're on. We're too honest to win. Uh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> I was going to put you on this other one, but Kevin, Kevin beat you to it. It was Pee Wee Herman is dead. Doctors suspect a massive stroke. <laughs> I, I thought of you immediately. <laughs> and then, uh, Cindy, you're on team five. If a post on Twitter was a tweet, is a post on X an eek? <laughs> All right. So we're starting out with. Jamie, Jamie oh. who is in the future, is going to leave. All the so way. Jamie, Rob, Carolyn, Faith, and Robin is has the bonus. So you are up, Jamie. You have your permissions. You're ready to go. Okay. All the way from 9,000 miles away. You're here. For you're so far away, it's Friday. 9,000 from where? For some people, yeah. Uh, We're all over the people. place. Where are you measuring that? Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's true. Hi, Hamilton. Okay. Tonight or this morning's category is mystery category. Oh no, we get to talk about mysteries? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, Susan, can you mute people? Can you do it? Um, I'm gonna let uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Ramirez do it. One second, sorry. <laughs> where is Kyle's, where, where did Kyle say he's going? All right, uh, muting in three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, everyone all set? I assume. Okay, number one. The police officer ranking just below that of Lieutenant. Or to say it correctly, Lieutenant. Yeah. And number two. Is it pronounced that way or just spelled that way? No, I think that's Richard? it. The word is lieutenant. Move you on. actually pronounce the F sound? Yeah, no, sound. we're not talking llamas right now. Let's move on. Okay, number two. <laughs> Jason sailed on this body of water, which borders the ancient city of Colchis, which was home of Medea and the Golden Fleece. Number three. This 1971 comedy movie portrays J. Edgar Hoover disguised as a black woman. Okay, hold on. Oh. Number four. From 1961 to 1966, Richard Chamberlain played this role on NBC. Number five. Can't Get Enough of You of Your Love Babe was one of this singer's best selling songs. Number six, other than a stroke, what neurological disorder causes paralysis or weakness on one side of the face? Number seven, in May, 2008, an earthquake of magnitude 8.0 hit this Chinese province, killing over 70,000 people. 
It is also the home of one of the largest Volkswagen manufacturing plants in the world, resulting in German culture spreading throughout this province's capital city of Chengdu. What is this Chinese province? Number eight. This English actress appeared in six Disney films, including her dual role as twins in the 1961 movie, The Parent Trap, which starred Brian Keith as their father. Name this actress. Number nine. This word refers to a single small branch or stem with the leaves and flowers on it, or a small arrangement of cut flowers, oftentimes placed on caskets or tombs as commemorative offerings. Number 10. the capital of French Guiana. And I thought, we don't do it too often, but, oops, hold on. And as a bonus, name the category. Oh, so you're giving us an extra point? Yeah. We haven't done that in a long time, but what the heck. Okay, that's all folks. Thanks. Romero? Well, it's for fun, not for an extra point, right, Susan? Yeah. Well, it's it's for, he have it a takes job. the place of when you get wrong. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. you guys, you want to do it as, a, as an actual bonus? It's an no, alternate just, point. An, yeah, we can't have more than 10 points. Yeah, so it could be if you have one wrong. Exactly. That's what we'll do. Okay. Okay. You've got your powers. You can go where you need to. Okay. Is everyone all set? Yeah, they're almost all gone. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. Do you need Hello. any help moving from room to room, Jamie, or you got it? Uh, I got it. I'm okay. I know a few of these. Yep. Where do you guys want to start? Oh, uh, it depends on the police department, but usually the rank below lieutenant is uh, sergeant. Yep. Jason sailed on the Black Sea, I believe. Richard Chamberlain, number four, played Dr. Fildare. Yeah. Can't get enough of your love. That was Barry White. I thought that was Cher. No, Barry White is right. Oh, so I think no. we know which one it is. Uh, number seven uh, it was Sichuan. Number eight oh. is Haley Mills. Mills, right. Number, no, number six, six is is palsy. Is palsy, yeah. Yeah. I don't have a spell it though. Capital of French Guiana is Cayenne. How do you spell that? Like the peppers. <laughs> C A Y E double N E. And yeah, it's Haley Mills. H A I L H A Y L E Y. Okay, so her category is movie trivia. <laughs> Except that, how does uh, Szechuan fit in there? Can you spell Szechuan for me? Can you? Uh, um, S and then either an I or an E. C H U A N. In number nine, do we know nine? 
small branch or stem that forms a pod when buttering. What do they call that wreath thing they put on people sometimes? They form it into a wreath. Seems like I should know this. As soon as somebody says it, it'll be like, oh. Single branch or stem with leaves and flowers on it. A spray? That sounds right. Well, okay. If it's spray, does that fit with the thing yeah, I discovered yet? I think it does, but I'm not positive about that. And do we know the the comedy movie portrayed Edgar Hoover? Spaceballs? I don't know. <laughs> no, 1971. Airplane? No, 1971 is way earlier than airplane. Young Frankenstein. I'm just trying to think. There were some police movies that were comedies in about that time frame. God, J. Edgar Hoover just got pretty black. Well, maybe the theme will get it. Okay, so what is this theme? Does everybody have the answers all written down? You can post, I can look at it. I couldn't spell them right. No, but do you have it? I can share, you can share your screen. No. Oh. Uh, Sergeant Black, Dr. Kildare, Barry White, Balls Palsley, Saskatchewan, Haley Mills, Spray and say, uh, what is that? Uh, French, French place. Cayenne. Cayenne, like the pepper. I don't eat that pepper. It's hot. Okay, so let's see. Haley. H a y l e y. Yeah, but why? Haley Mills. I know, but I'm trying to think. Why would that fit in a oh, in a mystery theme? Is the Haley the part that's the mystery, or it, you know, if it's a theme, or is it the Mills, or is it both? Barry White. It's probably the first name Barry, and not and black, black sea. Could be the colors, yeah, black and white. But what about Haley? Could be Mill. Mills. That's not a color. No, no, but it could be Mill. Like Mills could be a little something, a location in a movie or something, if it's a movie. No. Sergeant? Sergeant Pepper? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Sergeant Pepper. You said yeah, Pepper. Yeah, I think you're onto something. There's a pepper. Cayenne's a pepper. Oh, maybe the word pepper hits all of these. A pepper mill, yeah. Pepper mill, suset. Black just, pepper, white pepper. Yeah, you're right. Black sea pepper. Uh, All right. Well, wow. what a team. I'm impressed. I'm okay. good. I'm actually better at solving the mysteries than I am these other things. <laughs> All pepper. So, yeah. So the so the movie is probably called Salt and Pepper or something. Something has pepper in it. So, Tiger Hoover decides it is a black woman. Something pepper or pepper something. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is that from seventy one? No. That was yeah. That was earlier because the uh, Beatles no, was, had broken up. Yeah, but the movie came out with the Bee Gees in it, so it was the middle of the seventies. Okay, Pepper Shake. The album came out in the sixties. The movie came out in the seventies. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann. Da -da. I love that show. That was such a great cartoon. Pepper Ann. Um, Black Ann.
So what was number nine? Um, spray. Pepper, pepper spray. spray. So we figured it out. We might have ten, but we can't. We can't remember nine, number three. We got the category, Jamie. Susan got hey. it. You did. Yeah. Don't sound so surprised. Sergeant Pepper, <laughs> Black Pepper, White Pepper, Doctor Pepper. We're just trying to remember number three. Was there a movie called Hot? Like, is in Hot Pepper? I don't know. Well, it doesn't have to have. It doesn't have to have the word pepper in it. The movie doesn't have to no, have but, the pepper in it. No, but no, the like, movie might be like Hot Car Summer or something like that. There yeah, was a movie. Or, or kinds of peppers. Right, but there was a movie called Hot, Hot Car Summer. How about Spirit? What is that? That really hot pepper? They call it um, Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper. So, is there a 1971 comedy movie called Ghost? Okay. I don't know. Is there? No. Ghostbusters. No, that was in 71. Oh. A long time ago. What well, was 71? Was um like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and uh, the Sting. Sting Pepper Pepper Sting. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I doubt the sting had Dad Hoover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <that's... laughs> um, disguised as a black woman. Think, think of comedy movies in 1971. That's all. Okay, um... I was nine, so I would. Let me think. I wasn't allowed to watch that kind of stuff. We watched okay. Lawrence Welk and. He I was in college. Who was who was famous comedies in those? Yeah, Lee, you could figure this out. I'm just trying to think of like really popular comedy of that time was like Woody Allen. Um, God, what were some of the movies he Sleeper? did. Yeah, I love Sleeper. That was a great movie, but I don't somehow I don't think J. Edgar Hoover was in it. Um, well, it could be Sleeper Pepper Pepper Sleeper. Pepper. How about the Carolina Reaper? Is there a something movie, something like that? 71 comedy movie. Great Caroline? I don't know. Um Well, good thing he gave us the the last bonus category as a bonus point, so we can we need it for this one, the three. Pepper Jack. So, is there a movie that's Jack? Okay. Okay, Susan, can you um help shut down the rooms? Yeah, sure. Oh, I think it's down doing pretty good, except for number three is killing us. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if it's a movie we haven't seen, and that's the problem. I think it's Jack and the Beanstalk, and then we get Pepper Jack. Yeah. Why would uh, J. Edgar Hoover be in? that movie oh, no it wasn't even a movie it was a disney film so i definitely know j edgar hoover was <laughs> a black woman no i'm still i'm still learning leaning i'm 
comedians in 71. I um well think Flip Wilson and Bill Cosby. What movies were they in? Oh, geez. I don't know. I'm still thinking it's so absurd. I'm trying to think back to Woody Allen, but I can't think of him other than, like you said, Sleeper, which Jed <laughs> Ten seconds. Just put down hot as in hot pepper in case there was a movie called hot. I think there's probably a movie called Jack. Okay, everybody back. Hi, Jamie, that was fun. Okay. Are you guys all set? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with what the um I'm gonna start with what the category was. I think most of you got it. Okay, the category. No, no we didn't. Some guys got it. You didn't get it. Okay, <laughs> the mystery category was pepper. Everything's pepper. okay. Pepper. Uh, gotcha. Okay, There's... all right. That makes sense okay. now. So number one, Good job. Okay. Ranking. So number one, uh, the police officer ranking is Sergeant Sergeant Pepper. Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, Jason sailed to Colchis, which was up next to the Black Sea, Black Pepper. Black, black, oh, black. Ah. Yeah. Number three, the movie where J. Edgar Hoover was disguised as a black woman was Woody Allen's Bananas. No. No. Banana, oh, banana oh, Pepper. Geez. I never heard okay. of that movie, but we almost had it. We was so close. Yeah. Never heard of the right Pepper. guy. But I, I just never saw heard of it. I saw the movie on uh, Netflix a couple days ago. Ah. It, it was. Uh, number four, uh, Richard Chamberlain played Dr. Kildare, Dr. Pepper. Number five, um, the singer was Barry White for White Pepper. Barry White. Mm. Ah. Oh, right on, man. <laughs> number six, the neurological disorder is Bell's palsy for Bell Pepper. Number seven, the Chinese province is Sichuan, Sichuan Pepper. Oh, okay. Number eight, um, the actress was Haley Mills, Pepper Mills. Okay. <laughs> Number nine, um, the flowers you put on a casket or a tomb is called a spray. Yay. Yay. All right. Pepper spray. <laughs> and number 10, the capital of French Guiana was, was Cayenne. Oh. Cayenne. Oh. Cayenne pepper. Okay. That was a good category. That was, that was very, yeah. I mean, it was, it was perfect. I, where I actually could help. <laughs> I like it. I like it when I can help. That yeah. was very good, very good, Jamie. Okay, so let's do our scores. We have um, working backwards. If a post on Twitter was a tweet, is a post on X a eek? We had seven. All right. Oh, secret word of the day is that. Yeah. secret word of the day is non bionic. Humans. Ten. <laughs> what was the score? Ten. Yeah. All right. Indictment. Schadenfreude. Seven. Okay. Thank you, Jordan. Seven. We're too honest to win. <laughs> Proving it. <laughs> Five. Wow. You guys overthought that. <laughs> or underthought it. I don't know. Amy mm -hmm. Herman is dead. Doctors suspect a massive stroke. <laughs> Ken. What? 
Nine. Because you gave us that last Nine? point. No, we, we got the last one. point. We got the 10. I know, but that's Rob, we probably shouldn't no. do that category. With Rob, did you say that. five or four? I had down, we had four. Okay. No, we had five. One, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get the uh, bananas film. We got nine. No, we got ten because we got the bo bonus round. We got the yeah, category. Oh, yeah, we got the category. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, something's wrong with this. What the heck? Did you change something on here, Rob? Robert changed something on here. I know it. It's not working. It's not because I changed it. It's because you copied it wrong. Um, <laughs> it's not still there. Something's not All working. Right. I'm not looking at it. Something's no, not working. Good, but I don't know why it, it should just do the thing and it's not doing the, do the thing. Put the answers in the chat. Do yeah, could you put the answers thing. in the chat? Because I don't know how to spell some of these things. <laughs> good category, you know, Jamie. That was fun. 100 years from that, now. That was a good one. That was really good. Okay. Yeah, that was really fun. fun. That was really fun, Jamie. Okay. Thanks. All right. Interesting. So, next up is Deborah, right? No. <laughs> oh, sure. You ready, Deborah? We're all are you going? About it. Wasn't it Deborah, you guys? Where are you going, Deborah? Nope. <laughs> no. Not on not. my radar. <laughs> She's like, oh no. Rob is next. Okay. If you couldn't tell from uh, my backdrop, this is about the January 6th indictment. The questions oh. are all about the United States of America versus Donald J. Trump indictment handed down on August 1st, 2023, for what happened on January 6th. Please yeah. make sure this is recorded. So it is recorded. I'd like this one to be recorded. All right, muting three, two, one. Okay. So you had two days to read the indictment. I don't know if anyone did. I did. Actually, what I did is I found uh, accidentally there's a podcast which has been running for a while called Indicting Donald Trump. And one of the episodes mm -hmm. from yesterday read the entire thing. It took an hour and 50 minutes. So I listened to it as a podcast. It is amazing. It can make a good a good book. But if 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 you if you saw somebody you know submitting the screenplay, go, nobody would be that stupid. What kind of morons are this? But yeah. Okay. Question number one. How many pages are the August first indictment, the United States for of America versus Donald J. Trump? And I'm not giving you a plus or minus because every single time I hear this on television, I go the blank page indictment of Donald Trump. They keep saying the number. So. Number two, how many counts are there in this indictment? Number three, name any one of the counts. Don't have to get it precisely, but I want the gist of it. Number four, how many unnamed co-conspirators are listed? Number five, and this is my favorite one. Who is likely the unnamed co-conspirator described as follows? An attorney whose unfounded claims of election fraud the defendant privately acknowledged as crazy. Nonetheless, the defendant embraced and publicly amplified that disinformation. This person's role in spreading election misinformation is well known and was documented by journalists. This last part is mine. The first part from the quote is actually in the indictment. This attorney told the January 6th committee that there was widespread voter fraud and that the Capitol siege was orchestrated by Antifa or the FBI. And they also sent Fox News an email providing election fraud information from the future obtained from a woman claimed to be a time traveler. You're giving way too much information, Rob. It's going to be so easy. Hmm. <laughs> Number six. Today, just today, the lawyer of one of the unnamed co-conspirators told the Daily Mail that his client will never flip on Donald Trump. Name this unnamed co-conspirator. Number seven. On January 3, Trump secretly appointed one of the unnamed co-conspirators to replace the acting attorney general because the current person in that position did not, quote, do anything to overturn the election results. Trump withdrew the appointment only when he was told that it would result in mass resignations at the Justice Department and of his own White House counsel. Who is this unnamed co-conspirator? I actually think it's kind of funny that they don't put their names in there and everyone knows who they are. Number eight. How many times is Vice President Pence referred to in the indictment, according to the Daily Mail? Because I could only find a photo PDF and you couldn't search it for anything. Otherwise, I would have checked it myself. But... Did they say it was under 11, 11 to 40, 41 to 70, 71 to 100, or over 100 times? 
Number nine. After the indictment was released, which person made news by saying of Trump, anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president? That was just yesterday, I believe. Number 10. Which president appointed the federal judge who will oversee Trump's D.C. trial? Hey, let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Go to your rooms. Nipping at the bud here. Jamie, you got back in your room? Okay, okay, good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Who's keeping track? Was it 48 pages? 42. 42. I know it was 40 something. Uh, okay, what was the second question? How many counts are there in the indictment? Four. Correct. Name any one of the counts. Um, Deborah, you're muted. She's really eloquent when she's muted. <laughs> yeah, I am. There's there was one about um uh taking away people's rights to yes, vote. Yeah, that Ku Klux Klan one. Um oh yeah, the KKK um ruling. I don't know what it would be called. Well, he said just the gist. So okay, if so it's if it's the uh depriving people of their voting rights kind of thing. Yeah. Um let's put it down uh, as a KKK because that's what it refers to. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read it, so I didn't know about that part. But uh, let's see, I was just listening to a podcast about it though today. Um, the counts. How many is it? Unnamed. Or I copied the questions. I'm because... all together. Trump is one of them. Okay. Four. Four unnamed ones. So there's no, Jeff there's Clark, unnamed one. There's there Giuliani, there's Clark. Six. Sydney Powell and who's the, and then that other person who I never heard of. Cipollone, not Cipollone, but uh, it's no, it's not Cipollone. It's uh, um, uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Clark. Here He's the answer to seven. Oh, my message is too long. Let me try to break it. That's correct. Um, here, Janine. No, and number five is Sydney. Am I on mute? Okay. Five Sydney is Powell. Powell. Five is Sydney Powell. Oh, Sydney sure. Powell. Yeah, yeah, that crazy you woman. Gave way too much information for that one. It was so <laughs> okay. Which back me up? Which ones do you have? We have one through five. Can you tell me what your answers are? Okay, so number one is forty-two. Yeah. How many counts right. are there? In I the thought indictment? it was 50, number of pages. I thought it was forty-nine. Oh, yeah. How many pages? I thought it was. I thought it was in the. I thought it was fifty-two. No, it's I'm very four, bad at remembering numbers. It's 40 something. It's 42 because the magic number is 42. That's why I remember because you know the life, the universe, and everything. Okay. Okay. Well, and yeah. um, the second one is how many counts are there in the indictment? And there's four. Four. Number three, name any one of the counts. And we were coming up with the K Ku Klux Klan law because um, we can't think of the names of them. Uh, I think then, there was conspiracy to obstruct. And yeah, there was... a conspiracy to obstruct was one. Oh, I like that yeah. one better. And then yeah. the question but, four is um, how many unnamed co-conspirators are listed? And we said six. Six. Okay, the number five, who is un the unlikely uh, co-conspirator described as follows? That's Sidney Powell. Let's it's, see, for number like five, you're one? saying? Yeah. Oh, you're saying Sidney Powell, yeah. That's... Is, is it S-I-D anyway? Is that how she's I think so, yeah. S I D N E Y. Yeah. I, I don't know. Six. Okay. Number six, six. the lawyer. A, the, the lawyer. Co it's probably either of Giuliani. One, the or... unnamed co told the Daily Mail that his clients will never flip on Trump. On Trump. Uh, it's probably um, Giuliani or um, Jeffrey Clark. Could be. I think could it's Giuliani. Clark. I think okay, it's so Clark. Clark is the answer to seven, I think, too. Clark no, is the answer to seven. Um, yeah, Clark is the answer. Yeah, Clark. Okay, Jeffrey Clark. So I think it might be Giuliani because he's the. Yeah, it could be <laughs> Giuliani. But he's yeah. such a coward. I can see him flipping. Actually, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can hear. I can see him saying he's not going to, but I can see him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would go with Giuliani. 
Okay, question. Yeah. Um, How many times has he mentioned? Every time I hear it, they say he's all over this. He's mentioned all over it. That's what I hear. I don't know. How well, so at, at roughly 40 to 50 pages, if he's mentioned, you know, 40 to 70 times, he'd have to be on every page pretty much or multiple times multiple, on some pages. Times. It'd be multiple times on some pages. I might go with C. Yeah. C or D. B or C. Yeah, B or C. Jane, what do you say? I well, I'll go with D. D. I'll go with C. Is he conservative? <laughs> I'll get it. They're all okay. Um, yeah. After okay. Tonight, Nine was pants. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that. And ten. Oh, right. Which, Which president? Point of oh, that was uh, Bush, isn't it? No. It was well, Obama. No. It was well, Obama. Uh, Obama I think that... appointed them. Which That's president? Why... Oh, Obama. That's why yeah. this is so egregious to Trump. He's being tried by an Obama appointment. <laughs> yeah, so that breaks my heart. Doesn't it break your heart? Oh, it breaks. Oh, no, I'm but it kind of actually, I would like I'm to see a Republican do it and, and, and still, you know. Yeah, I think they'll get plenty of opportunities. He's got like four different trials he's got to go to. Well, he's got that. Yeah. Yeah. He's got tomorrow, one of his rape trials or something tomorrow Jean carol so are no. you really sure on one yeah i'm positive it's 42 because it's the magic number the light are, is are you okay. are you just That's sure because it's a magic back. number or are you sure because it's you know it's 42 i thought i thought rachel said 48 but maybe not i thought 48 also well i'm okay. just a i thought 40 here, so i I'm thought 49 so, so i'll uh, say 48 that's fine <laughs> I'm I'm thinking 48. it was eight something. Okay, okay well I, let's go with forty eight. I uh, watch watch it watch Susan be right. But. It's okay. It's um, all right. I've been wrong many times. I'm here to confuse. It's all. <laughs> and just for the record, I think it's forty nine, but um, based on very little. It could. My problem is I never can remember numbers, but I probably would have connected forty two if I had seen forty two. That's why I think I remember it. <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's uh weird but yeah i don't re i don't remember numbers i kind of get in the general range you know <laughs> but i cannot be be relied upon for any kind of especially if i just hear it yeah, that makes it hard when you're when you're baking with eggs because it's really hard to divide eggs up into anything but whole numbers <laughs> it's not um, impossible but it's difficult you can you know? separate them you can separate them i have excited counter. that we have a category that i know answers on and the one before this i knew some of those too and i got the mystery i'm just so excited i was so I'm excited that i knew and you I just really I was so know. excited that I knew an actress. Oh he yeah, was, well that's so one of the, an, an actor. I was I like I never know actors, but yeah. I love the parent trap yeah, when I too. was too. Little. So I said yeah. he said that question. Like, he says, Who is the actress who is a Disney or Disney been in so many? I'm like, Oh, that's Haley Mills. He didn't have to finish. You have to tell you about the twin thing. What's yeah, cool yeah. is part of it was filmed here on the peninsula. Which part? Oh, they um, the, the golf course or something? Don't they oversee? Well, they might, oh, but the, the, you know the the turn on uh, on um on Highway sixty eight as you're getting to Pacific Grove, and it, now they they put a big um building up on the hillside. But it used to be a house, and there was a, pa a corral fence and everything around it, and that was the house they used as I think her dad's house. Oh, really? So it's oh, yeah. Well, but it's not there that. anymore. I mean, the hill's still there, but the yeah. military built a big, giant facility in there. So, uh, they... yeah, that's news. Uh, she flew into the uh, Monterey Airport, and her dad picked her up. That was when you went in. We we've been here long enough. <laughs> yep, <remember>. yep. <laughs> you walk over and pick up your luggage and leave, and yeah. Yeah, that's almost still like that. They're they're still pretty chill over Monterey there. Is pretty chill. They are almost. Yeah. 
it's and a nice almost like that in Australia. Yeah. Is it hot in Oregon, Janine? It's hot. It's 90 degrees right oh, now. Oh, ah, I'm kind We've been of, having uh, fog and cold weather. I'm ready to wear my sweater. I think that's not going to go. <laughs> it's up in the air. That's, that's a pretty sweater. My sister made it and she couldn't. It, so oh, is that the one you're? Oh, you showed that to me. You just didn't. I don't it doesn't think you look put it all on. Like great at the bottom because it kind of just like hangs kind of weird, but I like it. Yeah. On the I think that's hard nice. to knit a sweater and have the bottom come out good. And I think it's got a snag. I got to find it and fix it. It's, it's a pretty color, though. I like it a lot. My sister just like said, Hey, do you want this? I'm like, Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> pretty and you're it's, you're always cold anyway so you might as well have a nice true. sweater <laughs> wow we did good you guys and i didn't I read the indictment i didn't either i was thinking i was so i'm pretty sure it's 42 <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be it's, we'll be sad i don't we'll know why sad. we'll feel like we turned on you hearing rachel talk it seems like it's 48 but maybe i'm wrong it's 40 the blank spots you know those pages it says this page left intentionally. It's, it's, yeah right <laughs> it's blank intentionally i right, hate she that counted those. what i hate is when you have a, a document that has those but then there's some blank pages that don't say that and right. you're like what that. about this page you should be worried deborah because that's the, i know only the it's kind of like the missing tapes and stuff. it's hilarious that we're sitting here talking about it and we know how many pages it is you know what i mean it's like a weird yeah, we know the, the co-conspirators' names, except for that one. There's one whose name I read, and I'm like, I never heard of that person. <laughs> it's, <laughs> to see. it's a man. Yeah, it's oh, a man. I, who's the sixth? It's point? not Cipollone. It's, um, no, it's not Cipollone. I do no, remember that. Cipollone, I, I, everybody knows him. Yeah, it's some some other name, and I'll be like, oh, I don't remember who one? that is. I don't think they know who the sixth one is. Or they haven't said. Yeah, there's one that they don't that they said they don't know who it is too. Yeah, that's right. I don't know who it is. I haven't heard any speculation either. Mm -mm. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We we knew our stuff. Okay, we shall see. We, argued if on you, the first one. we shall see if you actually knew your stuff. So, um, let me share my screen for just the beginning of this. Pretty exciting. How many pages? Right at the top. 45. 45. Oh, no, we were all or not. We were all wrong. We were all wrong. I thought I, I have to wonder if we were, changed it in like the last second. If they were at 44, no, no, no. Make a page break somewhere so it's 45 where they took uh, something out. Like, oh, okay. 45. Uh, oh, that's right. Well, that's going to be on purpose. Because he's okay. the 45th president. Yeah. yeah duh. Number, okay, number of counts, there were four, and there is the list. So you're going to have to mark right. yourself depending on how close right. you came to those names. Conspiracy to defraud the United States. Conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding. Obstruction of and attempt to obstruct an official proceeding. And conspiracy against rights. Oh, that's it. So if we just put defraud good. the United States instead of conspiracy to defraud, are we good there, Rob? Yeah, that's good. Okay, oh, thank that's you. That's right. Oh. Okay, how many unnamed co-conspirators are listed? Let's scroll down a little bit. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Number one, number two, number three, number four, five, and six. There are six. Yes. Yeah. Six is a political consultant to help implement a plan to submit projects. So number five, uh, who was the likely unnamed co-conspirator that gave information about a, uh, by the way, I didn't even say the full thing. She said it was a decapitated time traveler who told her. <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> yeah, yeah, whack a doodle. You know, has anybody heard who, if we know who the sixth one is or any speculation? That, that's the only person that they actually do not know. Do they have any speculations? Oh, I yeah, yeah, this is a bunch I've of names. I've heard a handful of speculations. It's a very oh. general political consultant. Right. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. We Maybe can... it's one of his huh? kids. Oh, no, I, wish. I, oh. I, really, I really think it's part of his strategy is that there'll probably be a dozen people sweating bullets right now. Thinking, <laughs> yeah. What if it's me? Maybe <laughs> I ought to, you know, turn good, young. Good point. Jack Smith's a smart guy. I really think that this is kind of a little, yeah. you know, a little part of the game, point. huh? You should yeah. have made it yeah. really big, even more. 
Yeah, well, some of these, like the, the fact that they use the word crazy, because that was a well-known <laughs> quote. They, they might as well have just put crack in there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay. So next, the uh, lawyer of one of the unnamed co-conspirators told the Daily Mail his client will never flip on Donald Trump. This was a uh, co-conspirator number two. Attorney who devised an attempt to implement a strategy to leverage the vice president's ceremonial role to oversee the certification proceeding to obstructing the certification of the presidential election. That is widely believed to be John Eastman. Oh, we did that Eastman. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because they in fact called I was it, thinking they of called his it name the Eastman earlier. plan to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, what number, was number five? Number five was Sidney Powell. Powell. Sydney Powell. Release the Kraken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Funny right. personal story on that. I was actually on a podcast promoting recovering from religion. And uh, we were, it was me, the host, and he invited two friends. And it became, because she had just said about the crack and it was in the news. That's all that we talked about the entire podcast. It was very <laughs> And I, at the time, you know, I didn't know who this woman was. It's like that she'd become a co-conspirator. Amazing. She was, she was like hitting on some of the other people. She was trying to. What? With, yeah, she's trying to hook up with some people in Florida. I remember How do you know that. this? Ew. Ew. I don't know this. I mean, who wants? Ew. ew. <laughs> Number seven. So uh, this is the co-conspirator who, let's see, uh, this is number four, a Justice Department official who worked on civil matters and who with the defendant attempted to use the Justice Department to open sham election crime investigation and the state legislature with knowing false claims. Blah, blah, blah. So uh, this one is Jeffrey Clark. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Clark, you got it. You got what you're number eight so the daily mail claims that the vice president was referred to quote over 100 times wow. Yay. Yay. all right oh wow good thank you bill and i think most so people two have heard, twice per page huh yeah <laughs> at least average Probably multiple times a page for some so of after the indictment was released which person made news i think it was just today or might have been yesterday by saying anyone who puts himself over the constitution should never be president Mike Pence. Yep. Yeah. It's gone a little further than he has before. Wow. And it which president that. appointed the federal judge who will oversee Trump's DC trial? Thank oh, you, Obama. Oh, thanks, Obama. <laughs> thanks, Obama. <laughs> you yes. see Pence's shirt? They have a shirt that says too honest. Pence yep. for president. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is he selling it off of his uh is he used fundraising off of that? I don't know. Somebody had shirts that yep. said too he honest. Should. Selling yeah. swag. Rob, the person that they think might be co-conspirator number six is Jenny Thomas. Oh, oh, wow. I've heard two, two oh wow. Names, and Jenny Thomas is one, and there's another one. Wow, that's yeah. really that's interesting. interesting. Not wow. to make my whole oh, month of wow. August. Yeah. The that would be don't go wow. Oh, that would be. Oh, he will. Well, we'll pull cool. his butt out there. He's getting his grass. Oh, oh God, they just I feel so good all of a sudden. Please. <laughs> the only thing that would make it better would be if it was Clarence Thomas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe yeah. it is Clarence Thomas. Oh, I, uh, well, yeah. yeah he wasn't they can share a cell. Jenny definitely was. Oh, oh Jenny yeah, Thomas. Really. I wonder if she's sweating. Uh, Lee said Lee said uh really something smart in the in our room. He said that he thinks that Jack Smith kept it vague enough on that sixth one that several people are probably sweating. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> and sure. And they're yeah. all like, oh, is it me? no, I think they'd get a target let. No, 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 no. They wouldn't get a target no, You don't have to get a target letter. Not that's for, totally not optional. for a co-conspirator. Totally optional, even for the, the first person. So, you know, you don't oh, have that is time so comes. awesome. Okay. Now, now I'm going to be so disappointed if it's not real. So okay. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the spreadsheet and I see, now I see what you did. Yeah. No, it's all wrong. Okay. Let me do something. Uh, Carl, did we get number seven? Did we get the last name right on number seven? Uh, no, because we didn't listen to Alan. Okay. <laughs> all right. Listen to Alan. Isn't that like a law or something? No. He's okay. Canadian. Why would we listen to him? Well, that's true. No, that's true. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad my team didn't listen to me because I swear it was 42 pages. But I, because I knew it was a magic number, like you know, mm. it's almost actually 45. The wrong magic number. Yeah, yeah. but the I first knew time I heard it, I just couldn't it was, believe it. Really, it had an important number for a reason. Really? Like it was. It, 
I can't believe I did. I will never make that mistake again. When I'm 110 years old, somebody can ask me and I will still remember it's 45, okay? Oh, oh, somebody write that down. We're, We're going to ask you next week, Susan, and see how. <laughs> <laughs> no, Susan, life, the universe, and everything. Yeah, that's what I thought of. Hey, hey, weird, weirdly, I got a, I took a phone call today from a client from RFR and he gave me his email address and it was his name 42 at Gmail. And I go, oh, that, you must be a Douglas Hatties fan. Who? Who? Oh, <laughs> the, the, the no, he was born to the in 1942. He, no, no, he's a young guy. He's only like 20. It's like, what? How do you not know that? And I didn't know it ever mentioned that to him. It's like bizarre. Oh, well, why did he pick that number? I, I think it was assigned maybe. to him. Yeah, it's probably just assigned to him. Oh, or April the second, the number one. is assigned to him. My goodness, how silly! Was, uh, was was it Gmail or one of the other? Uh, it, it was. It was in fact. Uh, Gmail might be going out of business. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I don't have it here. Okay. So I don't. So know. here we go with the scores. I'm very excited. Yes, in fact, it was Gmail. I found it. Huh. Okay. okay, so, so yeah. we're going to start with we're too honest to win, which was my team. Hey. Seven. We had, we had seven. Yep, yep. I'm. Ooh, look at that, Rob. That's all. Are you out. posting? You posting the thing? Pain, oh, pain I'm is saying a show. 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 Okay, is that right, Jane? Did we have eight? No, Jane? I think we, no. We Jane had seven. Muted. We can't hear, hear Jane. Which are we on? Are we on team three? Team three. Indictment shredding for No, they're yeah. talking about uh Jane from California. Oh, oh. Yeah, the other Jane, sorry. If Silent post Jane. on Twitter was a tweet, is a post <laughs> on X and Eek. Uh, we had four, but I think we need to tell you we had the lawyers. We just had them with the wrong question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, know your, you know your people, you just had them kind of a little scattered. Yeah. Yeah. Those crazy lawyers sort of meld together. Yeah, they do kind of have. Okay, <laughs> is that right, dead. Robin? Oh. How many lawyers were on your team? Two. I think we, we got CP Powell, did we well, not? Well, that's the problem. When no, you we have had on the wrong, one. we had her, but we had her on the wrong end, on the wrong oh. question. Oh, yeah, Robin, oh. but you don't have Peggy. All right, question us. Uh, PB Herman, doctor suspect a massive stroke. Ten. <laughs> and the secret word of the day is non bio. Biologic. Bio, 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 humans. Eight. So that was another good category because I think I knew so many of it. It feels so good. It feels we, so only good. we only missed two, Susan. No, we missed three. <laughs> Which three? Eight. Compare. Eight. Ooh. Question we eight. missed one and and six. We picked and Julie eight. And eight. instead of Eastman. And, eight. and, eight and eight instead eight. of four and five. We got the no. other ones. No, no, we didn't get eight. We didn't get eight. We oh. said eight was C and it was actually E. Yeah. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. No kitty. Okay, let's get ready for our photo. Everybody oh. ready for the oh. close-up? Oh, oh, it's oh, photo no. time. Oh. 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 We're just scooting along really quick. I love to watch you guys. I, I'm just going to put together a, a, a <laughs> whole thing of just us uh, getting the... Um, a little movie of us getting just ready. Just getting ready for the picture. Just That's all it's going to be is you guys going... Hmm. It's going to take you a long time to edit that. I think that'd be great. Okay, so... Just copying something and moving it off my screen so that I can put this here. Oops. I pasted the answers in, Susan. Yeah, I, saw, I was trying to copy it and paste it in here. And I'm yeah. posting that category directly to my Facebook page. <laughs> Richard, what is that? It's a trivia question. Richard, what is that? That page. Flying, flying oh, face. Okay, oh, what is it? Ready? Oh. ready, ready, ready? One, two, three. I think we got it. The the judge that will oversee the case has been the most severe case to all the January six cases she's had. And yep. She's had quite a lot of them, yep. and she yeah, actually so gave some some of the people found guilty higher sentences than the government was asking for. Yeah, must be shitting bricks. Doesn't that feel? <laughs> Let's hope so. 
and it's a woman. He's it's a woman. Back. And it's a black woman. Black I don't woman. hope so. No, I hope I he's constipated with bricks. <laughs> constipated with bricks. Good job. All right. So let's take let's take five minutes and regroup. Take a quick break and come back with our um announcements and get right back to the game. I'm posting the picture up on my Facebook page if you guys want to go and tag it. Share it on. It's fun to go look at your Aces Facebook pages and I look at your photos and it's all these different, it's just all these Zoom screens that you're tagged in it. And it cracks me up every time. Okay, I'll be right back. It's still rolling. I'm still taping. We didn't do so well on this one because, well, for one thing, we've been so busy at work. I have not paid any attention to the news. I haven't watched any news on um, tuesday night i have trivia at london bridge pub i was on i was at pub trivia on tuesday night last night i swam and i was exhausted when i came home at like 8 30 or 9 and went to bed haven't looked at the news so no, our that's, team is gonna, that, that's our why team you depend on your team right yeah exactly but our team is losing Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Wake up. <laughs> and I should be paying closer attention because hating Donald Trump is my favorite subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in good company. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I, I still am just amazed at how many people I know on Facebook that are just, you know, well, you know, everybody does it. No, they don't. No. No, <laughs> no they don't. Yeah. No, I just, it's, yeah. you know, it's, I just, you know, I would never have believed that this many people just could be sucked into a cult mentality. At, uh, I, you know. I don't either. It, it's, it's like they, they can't even recognize how serious the betrayal yes, was. Yes, they're, was. they're so they just can't recognize how serious that was. They're so they're such zealots for hating on liberals or voting against anything that liberals stand for yeah. that they will allow a person who is a security threat to the United States in terms of nuclear war and you know every other serious thing like that. Um, they were they would be willing to allow that person to be the president of the United States to hand over secrets to Vladimir Putin yeah. and all of the things that he has done. What what yeah. my wife what my wife has said is how does any woman vote for this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well yeah, and another thing is they just can't even recognize how stupid he is. And I'm not talking about if they're stupid. Yeah. So if they, unfortunately if, not all of them are stupid. If and it's like you can't even recognize how stupid Trump is. If the population is more women than men, which I believe is true, if all yeah. the women just voted against Trump, we wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. But there's so many people, unfortunately, I some of them are former friends of mine that they just vote however their husbands vote. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, it's sad. Yeah. I mean, they just, you know. No, oh, no, one, no one is supposed to be standing over your shoulder when you vote, so... Well, yeah, but people. I know, I, I know. I I get a psychologically. I get a, I get a relative who puts up with so much shit. Yeah. That uh, it just it's sad. It's sad yeah. the amount of shit that the husband gives the wife. As a and said, uh, uh, it's because my religion, my yeah, it's the religion, religion says thing. I have to obey. That's what she believes. It's sad. It's pathetic. Yeah, it, my friend, it's not even, it's not just religious. I think it's a cultural thing, you know. Um, for some reason, she thinks like Italians have to be extremely loyal to their husband. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing that I, I don't get it. So Italian I, culture is that way. Yeah, she's but, just uh, extremely whatever he says. And I just, okay. But so I, I'm glad that you were a seal bearer for our graduation. That was worthless as 
sits on a board. So, you know. uh, as, as a docent at the California State Railroad Museum, uh, I, I've the average age of the docents there. We uh, our average age is over, well over seventy, and white men over seventy are conservative, regardless of who the uh, Republican leader is. But, but uh, not let's let's not stereotype <laughs> white men over well, seventy. Okay. <laughs> I know, about there, I, I, yes, there are many of us who who are more intelligent than that, but at, <laughs> in general, at, in I general, and make... in, in my experience, especially with people that I have to uh, put up with at the museum. Uh, so you got a lot of Trumpers over there? Got a lot of Trumpers. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Okay. I can All imagine right. there's a lot of Trumpers who like trains. <laughs> It doesn't surprise me. So Paula says tonight is uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey at the Hollywood Bowl. And so I'll share a picture just so that we can show that. So where Paula is tonight. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, how fun. 2001. That must yeah. be nice. That's cool. A lot of people, a big crowd. Yeah. Well, okay. it's I think I'd rather watch Hollywood it on Bowl. TV than a screen that's a quarter mile away. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but everybody's singing along with it. So it's the music. They're not playing the movie. Yeah, there's an orchestra. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Very I thought cool. they were gonna, okay, all right. Cool. So they're gonna do John Williams music. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's all being played oh. over uh, the LA Philomar Philharmonic playing the score. Trask. Don't so do that. We have um some announcements. Um, announcements. Announcements there. So Rob's got a new video out. It I haven't watched it yet, but I'm sure it's great because it's going to be with one of my favorite people. It and is that's Paul Offit. Rob, you're on mute. Yes, actually, uh, you posted the video. I, I posted the article which links to the video. But yeah, yeah, that was really interesting. I mean, I've seen Paul so many times on television talking about the pandemic and because he was on the committee that got to vote on whether or not the vaccines would be approved so you know it was like wow it's, it was weird it's to talk and then two days before i interviewed richard dawkins which was also fantastic so and that hasn't anyway, come out yet right that, that well i just submitted it today so that wouldn't be a little while but yeah the poll off of one's interesting and actually is interesting information on what he thinks about the state of the pandemic is now is it over do you need to get another booster or not? Should you be even be masking? So definitely watch that. Oh, I will have to see that. because I'm I masking, don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think masking I'm depends. But I'm looking forward to it. Do you posted it, Rob? I yep. just put it in the chat right now. And he put okay, it in the good, chat also. I'm looking forward to watching it. He's been on TWIB a lot. On what? On Twitter, this week in virology. Oh, oh. The podcast <laughs> about viruses. It's my yeah. science journal club. I think I remember hearing, um, uh, I think we we're going to write a Wikipedia page for it, or maybe it hasn't. Anyway, here's, uh, here's, oh, sorry, Brandy. Oh, bye, Brandy. Thanks for hanging uh -oh. out for a couple of weeks. I mean, a couple rounds, a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, Here's here's my channel. I would hope if you might, everybody will please subscribe. I'm trying so hard to get to a thousand. You don't have to watch the videos; just subscribe. <laughs> Open up a YouTube account and subscribe, please. Now, my point is is that um, I just started a, a a playlist on books that I think that are should be required reading for the paranormal world. I did like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's book on the history of spiritualism. I did. Uh, Final Seance by uh, Mazuma Polidorio. And so I've done five, four or five books now, and I'm probably going to do home, a bunch more. It's more of my, it's fun for me. They So far, they've gotten like five views, my videos. It's really kind of sad. But I, I like the idea of thinking that we should have some scholarship. And if you're going to be researching some subject, it's nice to be able to prove that you've like done some reading on it. And it's, I get approached by, I used to get approached by so many film people who wanted to do documentaries or whatever on me. And they don't even know who James Randi is. They'll say, oh, we, we'd we love your story. We've been, uh, we've been reaching, researching psychics and, and researching the history of this. And I'm like, and what do you think of James Randi's role in that? Who? 
you know, it's like, I'm sorry, you have not done your research, so I will not be working with you. But I mean, it's that kind of idea that you should, uh, if you're a psychic medium, even if you're, even if you think you're really a psychic medium, you should probably have done some research on this career you've chosen or this thing. And so uh, as a researcher, I think I should show my work. And anyway, so I just did, oh, the mumbler guy, the guy who does the spirit photography. I just did a review of his book. Interesting. And I love doing it because there's so much stuff I haven't even, I haven't remembered in ages. I'll get to the critical thinking books eventually, but right now I'm trying to stay with spirituality. What What's uh, happening with the book you're writing? Oh, well, that's a good question. Let me, let me pause the video for a second. And that's the story of my book. So <laughs> what else you. we got out I there? Richard Saunders, you're in California. Yes. And? You're going to be yeah. doing something in the Bay Area, and you're also going to be doing something in Bend, Oregon. Yeah. If you're and you've the... just done two TV shows. My yes. God, tell us what's going on with you. Well, if you want to see me in person, if you're in the Bay Area, I'll be at Berkeley Library on the 12th for the local Hangouts group with um, Dr. Eugenie Scott. I'll be doing the Skeptical Box of Tricks, Spoon Bending, Water Divining, Body Power Balance Tricks, and Origami. It's super exciting. I wish I could go up there and see it. Also I'm doing there. that in Bend, Oregon on the night Bend, of the 29th of August. Is that where you're going to do the bending spoons? Bending spoons in Bend. Berkeley and in Bend. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty. <laughs> where, where are you going to do it? Where are you going to do it? Where are in Bend are you doing it, Richard? It's... Let me see. I just it's saw something. It's a pub he has that he goes to. It's a pub. It's a it's, pub. It's a, yeah, it's Brian Dunning's put this together. Let me, I'll find out for you. Hang on a second. It's on my Facebook page. It's on your Facebook page. Yeah, I put it up. Oh, okay. I'll I'll look. You. That should be fun. Um, I'm going to be driving up to Sacramento to drop off the Jerry Andrews stuff. And then, then I'm going up to see Sterling in Seattle. And then I am going to be hanging out with Kenny Biddle. I know Carolyn's disappointed because she would love to go. It's just go with It's the up. Poor House Grill, P O U R. Yeah, it's a pub okay. uh -huh. he, he goes to. And so then I'm going to be going, I'm going to stay up there for a while. And then I'm going to hang out with Kenny Biddle in Seattle. And then um, we're going to Portland. And then we're going to hang out at Janine's house. And then I will come home when I come home. I don't have a plan. And so. And everyone's invited to our barbecue on the 20th with Kenny and Biddle Martin. and Eric okay. Shaver and Susan and everyone else. Yeah, it's in Jane's the coming. Good, she better. So I don't even know exactly when I'm coming home. So I should be home by the third Thursday. So the next two Thursdays, Rob is going to run trivia. I'm so we don't have anybody time. listed yet for either well, week. We'll get it. We'll get there. Um, and then we'll. And then I might be on the call, but I won't be able to run it probably because I'm not sure what if I'll be in a hotel at that time or still driving or what I'll be doing. So. I know for a fact two weeks from now I won't be doing it. So I'm I'm kind of out there and I don't have nothing scheduled for a long time. And Richard Saunders, don't you want to tell us what's up in the next um um skeptics up zone? I thought you'd never get to it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Coming up on the next Skeptic Zone podcast, we look at all the people claiming to be Australia's best psychic, also Canada, 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 Canada's best psychic, and Susan Gerbeck will tell us about all the people claiming to be America's best psychic. I told them I'll read it, but I'm going to be like, oh. also this week on the book of Tim, Tim looks at uh, facilitated communication, oh, and in the trove we look at the bumps on your head known as phrenology. <coughs> All that coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast. Wonderful. Um, Cindy, Deborah, I will not be at the next Gianni's uh, Pizza Meetup because I will be on my drive to um, Sacramento. So just FYI there. Back a tomato. Okay. So um, anything else anybody else has? Are you, are you going to be in Sacramento for a while? Or? No. I'm oh. going to go to Costa Mesa to drop off 
a, a at a warehouse to drop off stuff and then getting in the car and going i doubt i'll even have time for lunch because i'm going to be like Phew. i know i thought of stopping by and seeing your llamas but i can't imagine that be something that i would just go to and be done in a couple minutes when is the no. meetup please in monterey uh it's always a Deborah's at the second third wednesday uh, it's the second that? wednesday of the month so it'll be on the ninth yeah it's august wednesday. august yeah. 9th yeah. and they, they it's a, just an informal Thank gathering you. with some great pizza in monterey i'm looking for somebody who wants to come and have uh, mexican food with me tomorrow nobody i'll i mark just went tonight nobody taking me to lunch or anything i want to go i'm dying to go get mexican food i'm gonna have to go by myself what um, mexican food i mean where are you going to because i'm i'm go free to tomorrow you go to Michael's? What? Yeah, but you're lunch or dinner. I, I'd hate to have somebody come all the way over here to have lunch with me and then leave. That just sounds. So no, funny. that's fine because there's a cemetery over there that I wanted to go see because I like to take photographs of cemeteries. You're and it's really going to Salinas to have lunch <laughs> and visit a cemetery. <laughs> you going to consult with the inhabitants? Uh, you know Possibly. what I really like to do is I want to get over to Pacific Grove and look at that house they're tearing down. So we'll see. Look, they come over here. I can there's, just see hey, there's a Michaels over the here. Category here. Yes, yeah, Susan, there are some Michaels over here. here. I know, but it's not my Michaels. <laughs> With my hey, eyes. Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Uh, you know, there's um a lot of genealogy people like to try to find the gravestone of their ancestor. And so I signed up for some genealogy site and I was... I think I was looking for my grandfather's gravestone and there's this thing called findagrave.com. Yeah. And now I get requests from findagrave.com all the time for um photographing gravestones at the Salinas Cemetery. I've never gone over there to do it, but but I might one day and um if if you like to photograph things in cemeteries, you might be able to contribute to that. Find a grave. Well, if you want to tell me what to look for, but I I do it because I like the the creative process of, of doing a good picture did a good photograph i don't really do it for historical reasons and cemeteries can be quite interesting you, you what's it called to... robin findagrave.com it's a very good site they have use almost it in genealogy everybody. all the time i found but my grand psychics, grandparents psychics, grave that way yeah the psychics yeah. use it too the psychics use yes, it too. psychics probably well, I bet they do yeah. Speaking of St. Louis and graveyards, I have a cousin in, in St. Louis. There were um, Kyle is, and he and she loves graveyards. I think she wrote a book on on graveyards. I didn't know Kyle was in St. Louis. Park. Also, I didn't either. <laughs> Kyle, Carl. <laughs> I think she wrote a book on uh, graveyard <laughs> photography. I just I love it too. I think it's fantastic. Okay. Anyway, I also have to go get my car battery changed. I did a little project in college where I went around Williamsburg, Virginia, where I, I went to college, and there's a lot of um, colonial era graveyards there, and I went and recorded the month of death of every single grave I could find in the 1700s, and I wanted to show that people died in the wintertime because it was cold, and wow. I did not find that. The wow. results were evenly spread over the 12 months. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. But um, huh. initially, I think if, if the graveyard the cemetery is, is pretty old, in the early, I mean, in the time of the um, the Spanish flu, the big flu pandemic, yeah. Yeah. you can That's find a lot, of, a lot of graves that are around that period and they're really young people. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago. You're up. I'm removing Rob's permissions. Right. Are we going to get some people before the game is too late and other people leave? Well, we can. I usually do it on the after the third round, but if you want, who I'm should signing I start? up for a round? Okay, there's one. I'll do it a uh, a week from Thursday, two weeks from tonight. Okay. Uh, this is Karen. Do I'll do a bonus for one of the weeks. Put me down for one. Kevin, bonus next week. Okay. Are you Carl? Carl. Karen's the following week. Karen, you usually like to go a little later, don't you? No, I like to go first so that I can have a glass of wine. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. I never 
or have a beer or a glass of wine before I do a category. <laughs> okay, so I've got Carl and Kevin for next week, and the following week I've got Karen. So I will not start pressuring you until after the. Susan, the I'll take whatever space you need. Okay. As as will I, Susan. This is Peggy. You can put me down anywhere you want. I know your grace's voices so well. You did my dreams. Okay. <laughs> Almost finished tomorrow for next week. So we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you guys for volunteering. And we're ready to start. Carolyn, I'm excited about what you're going to have. So far, I've known something on the last two categories. I have a feeling that it's going to be that way all the way. And I'm hoping you're going to hold it true. I want yes. some knowledge of this. You'll know some, yes, some of this. Okay. So every once in a while, I chime in about trivia about my hometown. So I thought maybe I would do a category on trivia on my own my hometown, which is Lodi. So stuck in Lodi. <laughs> so number you one. Need, you need three, two, one. Have you got any lighthouses there? <laughs> Number one. You're calling the category stuck in Lodi. I am. Okay. Name this restaurant chain that got its start in Lodi as a roadside root beer stand in 1919. Could you post it before I'm you, getting it? You read it? There you go. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Number two. At first, okay. Lodi was once best known for the flame tokay variety of grapes, according to local. I'm not going to say this right. Ampelogophers, what country are they likely have? Were they likely have originated in? Number three. I was actually surprised about that. What extraordinary encounter did Colonel H.G. Shaw claim he had while traveling home in Lodi in 1896? It was one of the first reported of its kind. Number four. Don't do this to me. Come on. Come on. According to Wikipedia, how many cities and townships in the United States are named Lodi? I'll give you plus or minus two. Let me start counting. Number five. Why are you not working? Come on. I don't know. Number five. Will Smith was in Lodi to meet with Dr. Bennett Amalu before filming what 2015 movie based on Amalu's life and work? Number six. <laughs> In 2021, grape juice from Michael David Winery in Lodi was sent to be studied in a laboratory in an extremely remote place. Where was the laboratory located? You get a plus or minus on that one. Nope. Number seven. My mouse is doing weird things, so I apologize. I want to see. Number seven. Part of this 1967 movie starring Paul Newman as a petty criminal serving time in a Florida prison farm was filmed in downtown Lodi. Number eight. Television personality Bridget Mardquart Marquart graduated from Lodi High School in 1990 and starred on what 2005 reality show with a wholesome title, but was maybe not so wholesome in the traditional sense. Number 
number nine. The first US transcontinental highway ran through Lodi. What was it called? All the Californians, I expect you to know that. And number 10. This alcoholic beverage invented by two Lodians in the mid seventies is the original wine cooler and the source of a few hangovers in my college days. Very and good. Any questions? These are good. It's well-written because they're almost figure outable even if you don't know anything about Lodi. I was, yeah, that's what I was hoping. Are there for. any answers? Yeah. <laughs> there are. So how do I send people? Go, go to, to breakout rooms at the bottom. I see participants. No, go to breakout rooms. Oh, I don't see it. It's a, it's a multi. Uh, okay. And then on the right hand side, when you open it, it says open all rooms. Okie dokie. And then you'll be able to close the rooms exactly the same way. Okay. Thank you. I'm in the wrong room. You need to fix me. Uh, okay. This is being two? Yep. Did that fix you? Yep. Thank you. Go to the other room. So if you go to um, mute, Carolyn. Breakout rooms. She's gone. <clears throat> oh, she's here. Carolyn's still here. Ben and Jordan are gone. Oh, there you are. Ben and Jordan are Carolyn, gone. Can you find it? It's in the breakout rooms. It's on the right-hand side. Right. It says join when you click on it. It's weird. Zoom is weird how they the screens like will hide on you and stuff. Like I said, I don't know how you guys do it with one screen. I'm thinking maybe number one is A and W. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Okay. The flame tokay. Um, so it's gonna she said she was surprised by this. So, you know, it's probably not Italy, which is what you would think. Yeah. It's probably but tokay, like tokay grapes often are from Turkey. Oh, that makes sense. We want to go with turkey? Sounds I good. Think so. No one else will have that answer. <laughs> That's good. Okay. What extraordinary encounter? Probably Bigfoot. <laughs> oh. It's not UFOs. I was gonna say UFO of some kind, you know, That's even 1896? though 1896. I know, even though it was 1896, I thought maybe he saw something flashing in the sky or something. Yeah. It seems like that's kind of like late to be the first reported UFO, isn't it? It seems like it's way too early. Oh, I think it's late. I think that people have probably been saying they've seen those things forever. But yeah, I like the answer. If you guys think it's not too late or early. I still think it's Bigfoot. Could be. What are we going with? Are we going with UFO or Bigfoot? I don't know. Really... obviously. Extraordinary I encounter. UFO. And I have no idea for question four. Well, plus or minus two, I'm thinking maybe 10. Well, it's only 50. Oh, no, no. It could be more than that, huh? Yeah. But not likely to have two Lodi's in the same state. I agree with that. Yeah, that's unlikely. Not impossible, though. No, yeah, I, there is that. one of those like Springfield or something. There's two somewhere. Uh, yeah, and Lodi seems like it'd be a good name for a place that had like gold or, or sediments or something that they were mining for. I would think that's what Lodi would, so probably like seven, like Lodi, Arizona, Lodi, New Mexico, Lodi, Nevada. Yeah, I don't know. It's whatever we're doing, we're guessing. Eight, then we'd get 10 and six. All right, worked for me. Okay. I think I know the name of the movie. I mean, I'm not sure if I know the name. Was it Concussion? Or something like that. Oh, thought, it was. You were absolutely was right. Men in Black. That guy <laughs> was the guy. Yeah. Was he the doctor for? What was it about? He, he, um, it didn't. It was, it it was about football injuries. You know, and, brain and injuries. He he played that doctor. That was a good movie too. And it, yeah, and it was like just before the whole football people started to. 
Was it that early? Was it twenty? Seriously, I can't remember how long ago. But... Yeah, I'm just wild guessing this. No, you know, that's that's that it's that, that it's that movie. This is right. To. That makes sense to me, if, especially if we think that doctor is the guy for the. Who I'm did pretty the, sure he is. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, especially in 2000. I like it. I'd never heard of the movie. Good job, right. Jane. I would never come up with that. And this says an extremely remote place. So I'm, and she was like, I want to know why it was sent to a laboratory to be studied. That to me is more, way more interesting than where the heck it was sent. <laughs> That's really it's true. Probably Antarctica, and it had to do with coldness. I think it might be space. It's either space or or the North Pole. I think that's really a good good idea, Peggy, about space. I think maybe they were trying to make wine in space, and they had to send it up there. To be studied. That is, good. that is a good one. I was thinking. Andrew. All right, we're just saying space, or we want to say like the space station, or just space. space. Well, it probably had to have to be the space station, right? Space lab or whatever. Okay, so this is probably. This is Cool Hand Luke. I was going to say Cool oh, Hand Luke. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. This next one, I never heard of her. I never. I don't know what the show is. 2005 reality show with a wholesome title like good girls or something like that oh maybe it was real housewives oh there there was a, a show called the girls next door and it had playboy bunnies playboy oh yeah 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 was that in 2005 that i think uh, maybe maybe i don't know I, I never I, watched it. Somebody told like, me, somebody was talking to me about it once and many, many years ago. And I thought they were talking about some <laughs> wholesome show. And then finally I figured out what they were talking about. So that, Jane, that conversation yeah, that you had years right ago has now come back to give you an answer to a trivia question. Just some random conversation. Very good. Okay. So, Lodi's yeah, right on Highway 99. It's also right next to five. Isn't it? I don't. Uh, is it five on five? Oh, it might be, huh? How are we doing? Uh, really good. A couple more. We got more. Um, I think yeah. that. I mean, I was I, just in Lodi. No, so. Susan, you're right. It's got to be five because it's transcontinental. Yeah, because 99, I don't think it's trans. And I don't think it's on anything that goes in the other direction. That's a big highway. So yeah, it's probably highway five. Yeah, right, right. I think it goes right around it now, and that's why she worded it that it ran it ran through it like as if it in the past. Okay, so what's the original wine cooler? Bones Farm. I was thinking of that other one that the one that had I don't know if it's a wine cooler. It was that one that was um like Bacardi or something. I don't remember. There was that apple. I was thinking of that one that was in the in the stores and killed a couple of people. They made them really sick. I thought they might have had a wine cooler brand. I thought that was San Francisco or Bay Area based. Um, it's still sold. It's called. No idea. It's really popular. It's a glass bottle, thick, and it has tons of flavors. And it was really famous for having had kill some people for its. I don't know why I'm thinking of that because it seems like no idea. that area and it's called you see it you know it it's a so the wine cooler was back in the day there was Boone's Farm as I re recall was the first one um but it but that's kind of the name and then they would have different flavors um and that was a wine cooler do you think it was a local you know California yeah place? all that stuff came from like Gallo and Gallo is oh yeah of course and that must be at Boone's what what is it Boone's Farm but I'm not sure that's the one. Like one word? Yeah. It doesn't matter how you spell this one, I think. Um, Boone's Farm. When I was in high school, we used to drink Boone's Farm wine. Which it was just a cheap wine. I don't remember it being a wine. You don't remember the cooler? It, but it very like, well could have been. It very well could have been. Some ghastly drinking at bad parties. Ugh. I never really drank, so... I get. I guess I didn't get invited to those kind of parties. <laughs> I went to one party and we played beer pong, and I was sick as a dog. And I don't think I've ever drank beer. Well, good, good for you. You learned. 
Yeah, I was a slow learner. And then you, on the first try, and that that's enough. Susan, what what blanket are you using? I think I caught sight of it. Uh, we got oh, some. Oh yeah. Uh, my sister blanket. My mom one time. Jordan has a very colorful blanket too. Yeah, comfortable, comfy, yeah. colorful. I love bright colors. Jane, um, do you remember the awful sangria that came out about then? I just remember. No, just I remember. Pinata. It was called pinata. Mm -mm. That was a big one. Since we got all our answers, I think. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not sure Bones Farm is right. I don't think it is. It comes off the top of your head. It's probably most like it. Can you guys remember that drink I'm talking about? Because it's now it's bugging me. It's probably not a wine cooler, but it was a, it was like one of those, it was not a kombucha. It was a very popular in like 2000. You mean like a Red Bull? No, no, no. It was, a, it was like a fruit drink that was fermented. It wasn't kombucha and it was super popular and then it had some kind of, problem with it in glass they're glass and they got like a bulge in the side and they clear glass and they and they're they just had a media problem because somebody got sick off of it and died or a few people did and now mm. i can't remember the, the does that even sound familiar to you guys i don't know that story but but that might be that might I be it way too late because the 70s this was i'm thinking it was much later so and i don't know if they had an alcoholic beverage but it's a it's a popular common drink you find it in your refrigerated section at your grocery store and it's now they've kind of they're still around but they're quieter about their name but it's a brand that you would know and that bugs me i can't think what it is no how, I'm looking, I'm how looking are you guys doing we already got our answer we're done you're done okay yeah. So how do I do the two minute thingy? Oh, just open up the breakout rooms and close all rooms. Oh, okay. This is nice that you did Lodi. This is so fun. I I you know, I feel like I read the Wikipedia page before I came up to you. <laughs> Not that any of these questions are on it, but I do feel no. like I'm in the place a little bit. Um Okay. Close all rooms already. Good job. See, you got it. Fun. And then do I do I leave the breakout room or do you I want stay to? here? Or you what, so what, what makes it so that she's okay going next uh next round? Uh, just, she should be okay because she opened it while she was here. Okay. If she, if she opens it in another room, then that's where it's. Uh, oh. I think that's how it works. But yeah, I probably won't take her permissions away. From right. Because yeah, the problem is you end up in the wrong room the next round sometimes if you. Yeah. So that's the that's the key is to. I think it's. The open that up when you're back in your home room. And then. Yeah. This should be your last that. spot. Yeah. That, that okay. makes sense. So I'm fine if I just sit here then. Yeah, you can yeah, talk to us. Should be fine. We okay. can talk. We can cool and have a good talk. We can, just score, we can just score our uh, answers right now. She can tell us if we got our <laughs> answers. Right. So Jane, what should I expect up there in Oregon in next week? Oh, well, it's been hot. It's been hot. So, uh, you know, but you never know. You never know with Oregon. One day hot, next day cold, but it has been quite hot. And you've already met Kenny Biddle. Uh, yes, oh, I have. You were at Psycon. Yep. It's, yes, it's, a trip. it's been hot and and then most recently it's been quite rainy in my neck of the woods. Really? It's humid? Yes, humid. I mean, we've had we've had severe thunderstorm warnings and flood warnings and watches the past two days here. Oh my in gosh. The yeah. And it's, it's so crazy. mild out here, huh, Peggy? It's so great. I mean, it costs a lot more to live here, but oh man, it's so great. Oh yeah, it's fifty nine degrees right now. Nice. It, nice. Well, it, it is. It is. Um, what time is it? Eight o'clock. So almost nine o'clock. So yeah, Better we're gonna have a high of seventy two. Here, the black. Okay.
All There's right. So I'm so glad that I'm in charge of this group because I can ask this question before we get back. So I have a question and I, I, I know this isn't the answer to question 10. So, <laughs> but it made me think of something and I, and the people in my room couldn't remember the name of the brand of the glass drinks that were fermented that it was a company it was really common it's still sold in the grocery stores they they killed a few people with some sort of bacteria or something in them about 10, 15 20 years ago. oh yeah adwala or kiefer it was adwala at the santa cruz adwala it was orange juice and then they made all kinds of other stuff yeah, yeah they, i think it was yeah. just juice it wasn't a fermented drink was right. it right it should it, it wasn't adwala is just juice it wasn't mm. supposed to be fermented yeah. Right. right. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you didn't but it really messed up the brand because obviously mm. some people got sick. But I, but that's the first thing that came to me whenever because I knew it was local. Whenever yeah. the question ten came up, and I couldn't get it out of my brain because yeah, I yeah, I was Adwala. They've also made like um, oh, like the green the green drinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they were smoothies. They weren't uh, for. Fermented. They were smoothies, but they had no. Right. They weren't pasteurized. Now they're pasteurized. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Are we all here? Yeah. We're here. Yeah. Janine's not. Janine's not looking at her computer. Janine and I sent you a DM about the books. <laughs> Janine, you just be looking. Okay. At the I just had a high school friend, boy, call me classy. Aww. <laughs> I was looking at this remark. <laughs> Okay, I agree with that. Dame? What? Did he call you a classy dame? <laughs> no, he called me a classy chick. He couldn't believe I was ever a hippie. <laughs> Are we ready for the answer? He's, He's very, got conservative, a... very conservative farm boy. We're ready, He's got Carol. a lot of surprises in store. Yes, yes we are. All righty. Number one, the name of the restaurant chain, I think pretty much everyone got this one, is A&W. Go hey, team burger. Oh, way so, to go. Roy, Roy W. Allen. Roy W. Allen opened a stand to sell root beer on a hot night that coincided with the city celebration to welcome home World War I heroes. And then later partnered with Frank Wright in 1922 so they could expand. So if you're ever wondering where A and W, it's Allen and Wright. I had one right near my house when I was a kid, and it's gone. There's only one left in Massachusetts. Mm. I've never seen one of those. We in Calgary yeah. have tons. tons and they, they sold the root beer. I mean, the root beer was first, and then they had the burgers and all that. Okay. So number two, I was surprised by this. The country is Algeria. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Not so, out of my list of 50 countries, I would have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised. So the Mediterranean grapes were well suited to Lodi's combination of moderately mm. warm summer days, cool summer nights, and the rich yet well-drained sandy, sandy loam of the region. Mm. Number three, what did Strauss claim he saw? An airship or flying machine and its inhabitants. So mm. yeah, I will take, even though the terms were not used, then I will take UFO and aliens. Mm. Oh, right. I put I would no. I, I tried to convince yeah. my team to put Bigfoot, but so I do I do because of the way I worded it, I do want the the vessel and that it had inhabitants. So I want both oh, because nice. oh. of the like way I worded it, what? I specifically said what extraordinary encounter. So oh, he in, he encountered strange beings we so want to put UFO. space alien that's wait a minute did, did, did this airship land so that he could see the yes beings? so ah. the stockton even the stockton evening mail reported the mystery airships three strange visitors quote possibly came from mars and resembled humans but were nearly seven feet tall yet were unsuccessful in their attempt to carry shaw off with them <laughs> oh, they, they just okay, their okay. hands were so, just they're like t-rex their hands are so weak so i don't think this is one Did of the you know that... thing we were talking about janine this is uh this is definitely a ufo alien mm -hmm. no 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 this is this is all you've got to read bartholomew's book 
Well, uh, I don't think this one story applies to that, frankly. Oh, oh yeah, they were on, all yeah. over the country. Every place you went in the country. No, they weren't were seeing seven foot beings that were trying spread. to carry them off. Room, they were guys. seeing things Hi. in the sky. Can, Get can, room. They did all kinds of things, Rob. Number four. <laughs> Number four. Number four, there are 22 cities and townships. Wow. 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 So if you had 20 or 24, mm. you, I gave it to you because even I didn't know that. I thought it was smaller than that. Anyway, number five, the movie was Concussion. Yay. <laughs> it was kind of a to-do when Will Smith had lunch with Dr. Omalu, Omalu at the Wine and Roses restaurant. And I was actually in town for that when that happened. Okay, so number six. What was the plot of that? Was that was that about uh, football players? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and at the time, he was the county co uh, coroner, Dr. Amalu was, mm -hmm. for San Joaquin County. Yes. Hmm. Okay, moving on. Number six, where was the laboratory? The International Space Station. Yay! Yay. Um, <laughs> so this experiment investigated the uh, micro... Uh, I can't say this word. Microbial ecology and dynamics of grape juice fermentation in the absence of gravity. Michael David Winery is the first winery in history to conduct wine fermentation on the International Space Station. Very good. Number seven, Cool Hand Luke. Yay. What we have here. I heard a lot of people get that one. Oh, yeah. Number eight was The Girls Next Door. Yay, oh, Jane. Oh, Jane, is good. Jane is a big fan of this show. I watched it too, Jane. I watched it too. She, she, yeah, she I, has a big poster of Bridget, I believe. Which I watched it only because uh, she was from here. And, but I good watched job, I was Jane. in college. I was in it college was what we watched. Bad. Anyway, moving on. Number nine. So I'll, I don't know if anyone got this. I heard... Anyway, the number nine, the Lincoln Highway was the first yeah. oh, transcontinental. Oh, 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 40. It's not, it didn't have a number? Wait, Jane. Jane, so you're was... on mute. You're on mute. Ans ask the question because she said Highway 30 was the Lincoln Highway. Highway 30, and we called it the Lincoln Highway in Nebraska. It's called the Lincoln Highway. It, right. It's, it's, it's a dedicated. Well, you in take, I said 30. the Highway. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Did you take the alternative name of Highway 30? They didn't have numbers assigned. I don't think it was like numbered yeah. here. Oh. It was. Oh, it would okay. have been a different number here because it was. No, it, 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 but it, I said it. It, it was the Lincoln Highway when it was built and created. It was assigned the number 30 when they started doing U.S. When US highway numbers, yeah. which was several years later. It's the same one. Yeah, it's the same if one. You take the point, and you don't take the point. Nobody's going to know. I, I wrote That's down Lincoln two, Highway two, on which mine. Is too on, you're too it's, it's, it's yeah. from what I'm seeing on Google. It's Route 30. I did it's, say the Lincoln Highway. Yeah, and, yes, and I wrote that take, down. That we believe you, Jane. Okay, yeah, okay. That, 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 uh, in 1913. On the phrase of being too honest, remember who was who was who. Who was sharing the sheet that we were all agreeing to? And mine says Highway 30, so I'm too honest. It goes through. Um, but home. they're the same thing, Bob. Well, Bob. That's, so that's up to Carolyn. Jane said yeah, Carolyn, okay, Carolyn Highway, did. so take the point. Yeah, Carolyn did the quiz. Okay. If she says Lincoln okay. Highway, that's, that's the answer, not Highway 30. I'll take it because I only know it as the Lincoln Highway. If Bill said it was, a, if it was assigned at the same time, if it was, it was dedicated in 1913 as the Lincoln Highway. So, yeah, right. Okay. If it's the also, point, the U.S. If, highway system was after World War One, and might might have been as late as just before World War Two. But so. this was dedicated in 1913. So is it is the 30 is Route the 30, 30 right or 30 not? Was later, much later than that. All right. Okay. So Lincoln Highway, dedicated in 1913, ran from New York City to San Francisco. Part of it ran through Lodi and on what is now Lower Sacramento Road, which is three blocks <clears throat> that way. Okay. It was Number awful. 10. Book. I, I was very surprised that some people got this, um, but California Cooler. Oh. Um, Lodi High School friends Michael Crete and Stuart Booley 
and their original partners, who were mostly friends and family, raised 140000 to begin commercial production in 1976. <laughs> and that started the uh, wine cooler craze. Yeah. So uh, for number two, there are two different grapes that have been called toke. The other one is a Hungarian grape. Mm -hmm. Correct. I think the variety, so going to the source that I got to, which was the Lodi uh, appellate um, winery thing, this variety of the flame toke was, they said it originated uh, okay. in Algeria. Yep, you're okay. Yeah. The rest, the other, I forgot about the other half of the question that invalidates my point. So but, I think you're right. I mean, the toke, toke, everything that I saw was Hungarian. But from what I read on the uh, the website for the wine appellate appellate and Lodi, they said the um, whatever that those scientists are that study the vines that I can't pronounce said well, Algeria. So that's why I was surprised. I actually thought it was Italy. well. I, I I think I got confused because there's two different grapes that have gone by that name, and that may be the other grape, and not the Hungarian toke. Okay. Yeah, because sure. this is a this is a table yeah. grape, so I'm well, not... so so Hungarian toke, but that's, okay. that's fine. Never mind. In other words, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Good. Um, what was ten again? California cooler. Oh, somebody mentioned that, and I insisted it was bottles. Oh, and James. we just. I would have guessed. Bartles and yeah, James. Yeah, Bartles yeah. and James. Um, when they got into the market, I think they were they were owned by uh, Gallo, which is a much bigger company, and that's what really took off the wine cooler craze was Bar Bartles and James. But, and thank you for your support. Yes. What about a number uh, two? Was um, what country? Algeria. Algeria. What'd you put, Susan? Uh, we put Turkey. Which isn't that far from Algeria, right? Oh, it's a little ways. A thousand, a thousand miles or so. Yeah. I think oh, it's on a totally different continent, so too. On a galactic right, scale. Right. Right. Climate, 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 but you know what? Climate, it's it's closer than the ISS. Down. But <laughs> yeah. Susan, you know how we, we say <laughs> plus or minus for a number? Yeah. So maybe someone sometime, if the answer is a nation or a city or something, they can say plus or minus so many miles. Yeah, but then you need to get a map out and stop measuring. Well, or you I can like just include idea. a metric and imperial. Okay. So I'm going to head out pretty soon, unless they. Yay! Really well good. done. That was really good. Let's do our scores. Thank you, Caroline. I, I want to hear the scores because I I thought this was a lot easier. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not for your team. Famous easier, last words. Easier than what? <laughs> okay. So Don't forget to put mind, the answers in the chat. Keep in mind, Adrian is here, and who gets to get Adrian has to do with the scores. And oh. Adrian got here Yay! just in time, was just arguing about what was it we were arguing? Wine coolers or something? Welcome to my team, Adrian. <laughs> oh, I don't know about no, that. I don't. I don't think so, Robin. Oh, what I think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay, here we go. Brandy Gill. Oh, wait. If a if a post on Twitter was a tweet, is a post on X a neek? Three. Okay. God, we did that bad. Ooh. Yeah, we did that bad. We're too honest to win. Damn. I should say also two, three. but it's three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought we had four. No. Nope. Yeah, okay, we do. Indictment shirt and fright. One, three, six, and seven. No, we didn't get three right. We got uh, airships. Yes, we, we did. No, three no was she's insisting country. it's more than airships, that it's like aliens visiting on the ground. Yeah. But it's still airships. Well, that's yeah, not what we, she said. We so. had UFO for that, encounter. but that was not enough. They, because of the no. encounters, they, he encountered aliens. I think that was one of the first um, reports of the kind. Because at the time, the there were aliens. reports of, of spaceships. Or airships, whatever they call them. Airships. Okay. This and we had airships, so that's right. Yeah. Oh, but it didn't. We but had to include the, the have beings. To include the encounter with the, oh. with the aliens. Okay. The secret word of the day is non biologic humans. <laughs> uh, we got seven, right? Seven. seven. Wow. Seven. Oh. Okay. Now my team did. Did we get the UFO aliens one right? 
I'll give you UFOs. I'll be nice. Then we got oh, eight. So, and then we got six. Okay, so they got six. Good. Well, we yeah. just said we just said yeah. aliens. No, we Karen, we got seven. We got one, three, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Correct. Oh, so you yes. counted UFO before we got permission. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you know, I feel bad because um, I sh I thought the way I wrote it, I tried to put encounter and then I put the first reported of its kind, hoping that gave you a good clue. As in, thank you, Carol. Those encounters of the, the kind. third kind. We got seven. And so do I have the score right? Because you guys are all shouting numbers out at me as if I know who, what team you're on easily. <laughs> team, team three is good. Everything that looks Boston good. Okay. Kevin. Seven. Now, Pee Wee Herman is dead. Seven. Okay. So, Adrian, this is your new team. <laughs> Welcome, <Yeah>. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> but only one point. So, you know, team two should have really taken it down a couple notches. Uh, player. So is Richard still here? I'm not looking at yeah. the whole screen because you're sharing. Good so day. this this is really strange in regards to UFO sightings because I was going to say, ah, it's because War of the Worlds was published. But that was the year after this. So I don't get this. No, what they they had developed the telescope, they looked at Mars and they saw these canals. So because like of canals. Chaparelli's canals, that's maybe that, yeah, that's probably, but they got the wrong probably. word. They meant channels. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Canals that indicate might, that, that somebody it. made it. And that if you read it. if you read Mick West's article in Skeptical Inquirer um a few issues back, he did talk about this case. And there was a rash of sightings um, reported on the West Coast of strange lights in the so sky and airships. But Shaw's was a little bit more bizarre because he actually um, apparently talked to these things and touched them. And then they tried to carry them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Um, and then they tried well, yeah, to you should. You should laugh. Yes. Um, so I tried to, I, I was tried to be clever with the wording and put encounter and the first of its kind to kind of like push you in the direction of yeah well that's exactly that was... what i thought of when i heard the question yeah so okay but your brain works different than all the rest of ours kyle thank kyle, you carolyn kyle, kyle. all kyle. right caparelli's uh can night, 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 carolyn night carolyn thank you okay night, so carolyn. we're gonna go to the next round but before i get to faith where is faith in the separate room before I get to Faith, I need to make sure that I let you guys know that we are still one person short for next week. Is the week after covered? Uh, August 17th, I have Karen's name on it. I'm not so worried about it, but oh, okay. August 10th, I'm still missing one person. I'm going to start pressuring you pretty soon if you don't step up. So It's I'm my sorry. birthday. I'm probably going out to dinner and won't be here. Oh, that's right. Oh. August 10th will be your birthday. And Adrian, oh my God, Robin. that week too. I are you I going out to dinner so be, because it's your birthday or you're not coming here because it's your birthday and we will bring to you? Well, maybe both. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, uh, Adrian's birthday's that week. Ray, James Randy's birthday. Ross Blotcher. We've got a lot of birthdays. Not more. Alan, you need to do a category. Alan? Alan has not done a category. That's true. And Ron is coming great. back. We should have Ron just doing since he's been gone. You're muted, Alan. He's muted. He's saying, of course, I'm going to do it. Plan, Corey, I will think about it. <laughs> what were you saying, uh, Jamie? Oh, it's my birthday on that day. Also. Okay. You're all Peggy, August Thank you, Peggy. Peggy's my birthday. A lot of y'all parents oh, had Thanksgiving sex. Okay. Oh. Peggy, I need two people for next week because Peggy's got to move to the following week. So just mm -hmm. saying. Okay. I'll start pressuring here really soon. Lee. 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 Yeah, let's see okay. if I can come up with 10 questions on llamas. Uh, Yay! I won't be here. <laughs> well, I might be here. I'll just be in a right. hotel room. Start studying llamas. He's gonna pick something else like apples. No, I will. I will figure out something. Okay, so I still need one more, but okay. I'm not quite ready to pressure you yet. But very. I think close. since Faith is going today, I think Romero should go next week. I like how we volunteer people. Isn't that great? <laughs> I love this game. Okay, Faith is up next. Here we go. Okay. My category is scuba diving. Oh boy. I, well, wanted, scuba I thought diving. I was going to get through this whole one. game and know something about every single one. Yeah. I tried to. So, the reason I picked this is actually 
Ramiro and I are undergoing our scuba certification right now, but I tried to make it so this would not be easy for him to answer. So, question. Oh, thanks. It'll be hard for him, so it'll be easy ah. for us. <laughs> Okay. And it does not want to copy the numbers over, so well, I have to manually have add them. Yet. They're in Fayetteville. I mean, in, we're uh, not in Fayetteville. In Raleigh. We're, we're like three hours from the beach. So it's not that hard to, or two and a half, depending on which way you go. But question one What does SCUBA stand for? Yeah. Okay, and who is credited with creating the ac this acronym? And I'm going to give you some options. I know one, and you have to make it easy for everybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Question Ugh. three. We've never had scuba diving before. Of the four options above, who is credited? credited with inventing the first successful scuba device or set used in recreational diving. And question four, what popular cruise line is the only one in the world to partner with Patty, a certification company to offer full open water diving courses to their guests? Question five. When diving, you are legally required to have a diver down scuba flag to indicate there's a diver in the water. There are two versions of this flag. The one used in the US and Canada is red with a white diagonal stripe. The other one is the alpha flag from the International Code of Signals. It is white and what other color? I'll give you a hint. The ICS only uses red, blue, black, white, and yellow. <clears throat> Question six. What is the maximum depth limit to set for recreational diving certifications? <laughs> this is dives that only use regular compressed air. I'll give you a hint. Basic certification allows for diving up to 60 feet or 18 meters. And I'll give you plus or minus 15 feet or plus or minus five meters. So you can give it to me in Imperial or metric. Question seven. Hold on. Most scuba schools recommend to not go further than 30 meters without special air mixtures, even though the depth is within recreational limits due to developing nitrogen narcosis. It's also known as this blank effect. It got its name due to the belief that for every 10 meters you descended, it was like having one of these drinks. By the time you reach depth, you already have had your noontime, lunchtime three. Okay. Question eight. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Divers Alert Network, or DAN, is a group of not-for-profit organizations dedicated to improving diver safety for all divers. Per a 2020 release on the DAN website, and I'm going to give you some options, what was the most com common diving injury reported? So decompression sickness, marine in envenomation. <laughs> Um, it, marine envenomation just basically means getting stuck by something like a lionfish or something with a that puts a toxin into your body, ear or sinus trauma, or a broken toe. The Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, also known as the Great Mayan or Maya Reef, stretches over 126 kilometers or 700 feet along the coast of four countries, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras. 
which of these four countries is hosted 30% of the reef and thus tends to claim their home to the second largest reef system in the world? So you mean 700 miles? Yes. Or yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. And question 10, there is also some options I'm going to paste in here. According to Patty's 2021 corporate statistics, they've issued about 28 million certification, entry level and continuing since 1967. Per World Meters Info population by country, updated as of July 16, 2023, which one of the following countries' populations could all be certified for, scu for scuba, age and medical conditions notwithstanding? And I'll give you four options. Okay. But number nine, Robbie, they could just be really big feet. <laughs> All right. I got to move some screens. Romero, can you open the rooms? Oh, I missed I it. Do nine me. and ten use the same four list of countries? Um, no. So I've given you that for number nine. Oh, has I Mexico see it inside the question. Yeah. Never mind. It's yes, it's inside the question. Okay, so you've got your powers to move around. Okay. Thank you. Romero, I forgot you were on our team. Yay, I hope you know some. I only know one. The I same one, one everybody knows. I know some. <laughs> well, why don't we do the ones we know, Karen, so that we can just let Romero do the rest? I don't know a lot of them. <laughs> it is. Okay, Karen, which one do you know? Number one, like everybody else, probably. Oh, I didn't know that one. What is it? Self-contained, underwater, breathing apparatus. Yup. I knew self. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know that one. Okay, so the only one I know is the color is um, yellow. It's which which number? Five. Okay, great. That's it. Uh, how far, with number two, how far back does, does, uh, why does does it go? Uh, does it predate Jacques Cousteau? I mean, everybody knows Jacques Cousteau, but that doesn't mean uh, it's Jacques Cousteau. I think I, I think Jacques Cousteau is either two and or three. Really? I, I don't have the the questions. Should I be seeing the questions on the chat? So you we, should. I'll, I'll give Nothing. them to you, Richard, because some people say that they've been having problems with the yeah. 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 I think Cousteau is three, but I'm not. Chat. So it was. It was like in the fifties. So Cousteau was around. Oh, it was. It, I thought it went farther back. So than two, that. two right. is who is credited with creating the acronym Cuba. I, I think it's Cousteau. Okay. Oh. And so it doesn't go so. Is, yeah. Who, who is credited with inventing but, the first successful scuba that used the recreational diving? But well, he speaks French. Why would he do it in English? He speaks French. Um, international hired by a, a American company. He used to work for um, what's that company? National Ge not Geographic. Um, Jacques Cousteau used to always do BBC. National Oceano Oceanographic. Yeah, he was always on TV, so he was sponsored by an American company. Oh. So I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. He was working for. That's why it was in French. That's my thought. I don't know. If was it was was it were, were they were they There's scuba diving? Question. Was there scuba diving as early as as the Second World War, or is it after that? Oh yeah. I'm I mean, sure. Not, I mean, well, I don't know about scuba diving. Yeah, I don't know if scuba. No, I don't think scuba was around. No. Yeah, they just had those big, those big clunky they had uh, the methods. They yeah. had air tanks. Yeah, you had, you had a, a hose from the ship. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You'd fall in the water and the, the hose would go from the water. Yeah. Like, oh, and I think number eight is broken toe. And why do you think that? 
because Wait. as he was reading the question, I said, I bet it's broken toe. And then it just appeared in the answers. Oh, I, I, th I think eight is ear or sinus. Oh, yeah. I think that makes sense. Because with the pressure, it's very easy to damage yeah. your um, yeah. your eardrum. I, bet. I was just thinking of break it there. Just break, they break their toes when they're falling off the boat to go in the water. I think broken toe. Probably. But the That's but they're the... protected. Their toes are protected with flippers. No, you're yeah. supposed to take them off before you uh, go up on the boat. Okay. Okay. We don't have high. We don't have agreement on that. So. So we have agreement on one and five. Do we have agreement on other things? I think uh, four is Royal Caribbean. And then I think six is like one, 130 feet, I would guess. Can you see them now, uh, Richard? Yep. Okay. Was um, it Mutual of Omaha that uh, Jacques Cousteau worked for? That was Marlon Perkins. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Marlon Perkins, Wild Kingdom. Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Marlon Perkins, founder it. of the St. Louis Zoo. Oh, is that right? I don't think I ever, we ever missed that. That was like a, had to be seen. Um, um, okay, now number 10. That's just which of these nations has a population of 28 million, right? Yeah, that's yes, anything. No. So anybody know that? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, so um, we don't know a lot on this one. All right. I, I, I'm thinking I think Venezuela is, I think, more populous than that. I think Morocco is more populous than that. Morocco, really? That's not that big. Really? But how about Madagascar? It's not on the list, is it? It is. It's the first one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's just the way this this is wrapped around. It could be Madagascar. I think there's a lot of people live there. I I suspect. I think nine is Belize, but I'll defer to anyone who knows better. Well, well we really don't know. It, it's just a matter if we accept your guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Alan suggests something, maybe I'll defer to Alan this time. But. <laughs> Clark, it's Clark. Okay, Clark. Are you guys Clark through all the questions? No, no, we only have half of them. <laughs> Which one are we giving for Clark? What? No, 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 no. Forget the Clark. Forget the Clark. Which no, no, that was Clark? another round. That's an inside joke you weren't here for. Oh, exactly. okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I have written down here. And, it, it, you know, we're guessing some of these, right. but some people say they know. Number one, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. A blank for two, blank for three. Number four, Royal uh, Carib Caribbean. Number five, yellow. Number six, 130 feet. Blank for seven, blank for eight, nine, Belize, 10, Madagascar. Oh. Seven, seven, that was... You know, I'm not 100% sure it's white because I know it's black and yellow is one of the flags. Yellow, we put yellow for five. Okay. But what about number seven? I think that's the martini effect. Martini. Okay, so we, we don't have two, three, and eight, and Susan is now doubting herself on yellow. How Why shall how shall we decide? I think it's yellow, but... Why do you think it's yellow? Or... Because I have a friend, Jeff Wagg, who uses that as his avatar. Oh, Jeff Wagg. And, it's, and it's, it's, it's checkered. And I thought it was yellow and white or yellow and black. What is it, Carl? You know who I'm talking about. I know who Jeff Wagg is, yeah. But his avatar is always used on everything, is always that uh, flag for Diver Down. And I so, know it's yellow. Well, so put yellow, yellow and white, I think. Or it's yellow and black. <laughs> but the, the question says it's white and something. I'm trying to remember if it's white and yellow. I mean, he'd even wear shirts and stuff like that. So for number two, did somebody propose Jacques Cousteau and we like yeah. that? Or we had Jacques Cousteau proposed for both two and three. Two and three, Jacques yeah. Cousteau and Jacques Cousteau. Okay, and then what about number eight? I like Which... your sinus. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at that. I'm, I'm, I think, I think, yeah, I, okay, go for I, it. I, I like, I like the broken toe, but I think that's probably you like a broken toe. If, no, if you've, if anybody, if you've ever, if you've ever gone into a pool in the deep end in a, in a fairly deep pool, you feel it in your ear, the pressure in your ears. Or, so, so it can't, it, Susan, you don't have to give up so quickly. Um, <laughs> just because someone's loudest, it doesn't mean they get their answer. I know, but I'm a visitor here and I'm known to disrupt. So we haven't heard from uh, Skookum and Ramiro. Let me see how high your score is here. If I should really be messing with you. Do you have a preference to what the injury oh, might yeah, be? You guys are up there high. Oh, um, feet, head. Feet? Okay. Feet or head and Ramiro. I, yeah, I'm leaning more towards ear and sinus. <laughs> I'm leaning more towards ear and sinus as well. Okay. Are we split or do we have four two? No, no, I'm the only toe. Okay. Number seven was um might Where have I been get it from right. <laughs> rapture from the deep, but I I don't know if that's a that's not a, like a drink, right? Seven is martini. That's what um Carl said. Martini. Okay, so it's not like rapture from the deep. But Ramiro says there's a drink called rupture from the deep. That's or, pretty. I mean, I blatant. I think I was reading about scuba and I. I might have, I remember something about rapture, but. Uh, but it could it fit in that sentence. It is also known as this rapture effect. But well, is I, that something you well, drink? Like, but but you, you had, it says you've already had your noon lunchtime three and the, the classic three martini lunch. Yeah. I said very this. Well. Yeah. The rapture from the deep doesn't sound like a drink. Right. <laughs> It should be though. Now that's something you take uh, before you have a a, a, um, a a thing up your rear. What do you call it? My the, friends and I will all have a rapture. An enema. And then an <laughs> uh, um, I'm looking forward to Carl drinking at Psycon. Uh, what about nine? Are what about you nine, drink, Carl. I, no. I I I I I said yeah. I think it's believe. Yeah, I, think... I see has... how you avoided that subject. I'm happy to go with that. I've never seen you drink. Yeah, I'm happy to go with Belize and talk about Carl drinking in Las Vegas. Carl? But wouldn't Mexico have the longest coast? It's been a few years since I got drunk at Psycho. Yes, how, however, it has the longest you coast, but it is the okay. northernmost of those four nations. In your sixties garb, so it isn't. It doesn't necessarily. It could extend into the Mexican oh, coast and not the whole of Mexico coast. Uh, how big? How big is Belize? This, this big. This big on a map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carl, are you going to wear your sixties garb? I don't and get have drunk? any sixties garb. I I know you got a costume. You're planning it. I heard. Okay, oh. you know what you could do, Carl. If there is like a science discovery or something that you admire, you can come dress like a certain like person and you're you're coming as the person that discovered this yeah. in the 60s. Jeff, Jeff, uh, what's his name? I could, name? Come, I could the... come as the way my dad dressed in the 60s and get a short sleeve shirt with a pocket protector and big, thick black frame glasses. There you go. There you go. You now, what's, what's, this with the, what's this with the dress ups? What are you doing? Oh, well, Psycon is, has the it's a Halloween, Halloween party. party at, it's going to be the, the 60s, the, the theme. Yeah, that's true. But um, Jeff, what's this? Jeff from um, Romero's friend there, he uh, came as a. Uh, he came as a. He came delivering like as a UPS driver uh, delivering the polio vaccine. I remember mm. that. Oh, that's familiar. Yeah, I remember that. About that 10 minutes 50, ago, When we did the 50s, 1950s thing. He had a bunch of boxes that yep. he was carrying around. That was really cool. And then, what's his name? Um, uh, Thomas Westbrook. He came as Sputnik. Yep. That was terrific. He even had like the array. Who was it that um, there was a, another really good costume last year? Carl, do you remember the... Uh, what's his name that came as the James Webb Space? That's telescope? it. James Webb Spacecraft. That was amazing. Okay, who was it? That is uh, Mitchell. Yeah. 
Why can't we do trivia on people's costumes from <laughs> <laughs> different psychons? Because I got that. I don't know, but you should, you should, you should sometime for one of these evenings have some post some pic, you know, show us some pictures from there. I have pictures. There's tons did, of pictures. Did we guess anything for up. for ten? Uh, Madagascar. Madagascar. Okay. I believe uh, Richard said, "Yeah, that's about right." Okay. And so we all went. I have we written down. Know. Well, we got scuba. We got Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau. Royal Caribbean. Yellow. 130 feet. Martini. Ear sinus. Belize. And Madagascar. Just, I'm just. That was the time to lodge a the record. That is okay. I read that question without even having any answers in it. I said, "I bet it's a big toe." So, Carl, you um, do you have any of the laser cat toys? Yeah. Um, my cats are not super big into lasers. They, but do you have, my, uh, but you have one. Well, I have one for my sister's dog. Okay, so I, laser was invented that was invented in the 60s yeah. you could be that and you could be whatever the guy's name is. that's it you wear your normal clothes and you're <laughs> the guy that invented the laser i want him in his, no, no, no. his 60 outfit he said he was gonna susan walk. not everyone's an extrovert but he said he was going to no i didn't what about uh neil's um uh, or neil armstrong but dressed as in normal clothes yeah just a suit yeah you're neil armstrong <laughs> I, I could also bring a slide rule I still have my dad's slide ruler. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how to use it? Uh, it would take me about two minutes to figure it out again. He's going to wear, I think it was going to be like, weren't you, didn't you say I think you I even have bell like bell bottom a... pants the, with the flares on them, with the flowers on them? No. Um, do, do, um, can you do makeup effects, a little, a little minor makeup effects, Carl? Me? Minor? Yeah, um, just are you a little artsy at all? Never. Uh, uh, well, uh, I can be artsy. In okay, so what you could do, you could take, something. you could on your chest, you could just t take some makeup from the store, you know, not professional makeup, and just draw like a um, a heart surgery scar. <laughs> and you could be the first heart transplant patient. But again, your clothes are just normal. And if anybody asks, you just unbutton and show them your little scar. There you go, Karen. Karen's so clever at this stuff. Well, not everybody wants to be like like a go-go dancer or something. But he wanted to. He was going no, to. No, I did not want to be a go-go dancer either. No, but he wanted to wear his flared pants with the flowers all over him. Are we done? Yeah. Ish. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to we're right. trying to pick out I, I've made, I've made Rob Rob But you know, Rob Melanie, like Melanie Treasure King, she said nobody should even bother because she, She's got the the most amazing. She claims she's going to win. Yeah. Why is it a competition? Yeah. They actually do. Yeah, they we have a competition. They get like a few hundred bucks, I think, for the top one. Yeah, it's really good. We, Last we, do, year, we do fan voting, and then Jim Underwood throws out the fan voting and makes it. Jim decision. Underwood. <laughs> so he ignores what the fan was, says and makes his own call. John John Guy won. He wore he wore a, a he wore a suit with flamingos all over. It was so awesome. Yeah, that was a good costume. That was amazing. That costume. John guy, that guy whose name is easy to remember. That John guy. Yes, his name is John Guy. He got, he wore that. He he looked amazing. But there were some other really good costumes. Melanie was upset because they came as the Pirates of the Caribbean. The theme was oh yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. The theme was the Caribbean. See, there there should be a special category for matching couples costumes. That's true. Somebody else came as Carmen Miranda with the bowl of fruit on her head mm -hmm. that was fun i just I, I wore still, a, i just wore a hawaiian shirt i was i still I, I do still love from the one year the ruth bader guinnessburg yeah <laughs> that was excellent and yeah okay. ruth bader guinnessburg i had forgotten that's what it was and then i listened mm -hmm. to that interview where uh, rob interviews jimmy scott and she talks about it a lot of clever stuff. And if you watch that video, you'll see a photo taken by somebody. Yeah, I wonder who it was. What are your answers, Ramir? Um, they're not mine. 15, 110, 1967, peanut butter, orange <laughs> rinds, and scat. Seven, right? And scat. Oh, and Scott. Okay. Yeah, I okay. Think we're on Scott. And, and, and we, don't forget the Higgs boson. Right. 
Okay, and 10 was what? Madagascar. Oh, you gave a real answer. So the movie, kinda... not not the country, the movie. Correct. Yeah. The movie, of course. The movie, the movie. correct. Yeah. We, 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 we'll be wrong if it's the country, because we wrote the movie. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I came as Sylvia Brown one year and had long nails, and I was carrying all of her books that she, the bunch she had written that I got at the Goodwill. And I was dressed in this really funky old dress. And I got up there, I'm like, I'm here to challenge James Randi. And I had my, these long nails. People didn't know who in the heck she was. <laughs> I'm just like, so how do you guys not know who Sylvia Brown was? Like, just when, when did you do that? Uh, 2017, I think. 2016. Well, that was because they might have got you confused with Teresa Caputo. No, no, you know, because you got to do the hair. You got to do the hair. No, I was, I was, I had a wig, a blonde wig. It, oh yeah, I, I look just like. You should do Teresa Caputo next. Yeah. Oh my god, I could see it. The big bump yeah, in. Work Phil shows she's like that. Uh you know, I don't even know if there's a good picture of me as Sylvia Brown. Maybe Carl has one. Let me see. Stop yeah, eating my pretzels. Okay. I think I think our team is going to get last place. Wow. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna fight you for that. Sure. We're, <laughs> we're competing, Vincent. We might meet you because you got Adrian. Yeah, that's true. We got the smart so, one. So you might win now. I will see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we can win. <laughs> Let's find out what the hey. answer is. See where, how bad okay. So, question one scuba stands for self contained underwater breathing apparatus. Woohoo, Karen! Yay, one point. Mm -hmm. And the person who is credited for creating the acronym is, hold on, because I have them lettered here. It's the second one, Christian Lambertson. Yep. Oh. U.S. Navy. Mm -hmm. And the person um, who is credited for inventing the first successful scuba dive set the first I thought. or device set used in recreational diving is Jacques Cousteau. Yay. With Emile and Cagnon, they work together. Mm -hmm. And... Number four, the popular cruise line that you can get certified to scuba dive while you're on your cruise is Royal Caribbean. They right, actually right, have right. dive instructors. Oh, okay. So, wait, I, so, so, so Bill said Bill said something, and we actually yeah. put that name. So I want to I want to answer on whether that's okay or not. Okay. For number okay. three, I didn't know that we guessed Emil Gagnon, and he said with Emil Gagnon. So are we accepting that one? They, they were working together. They were uh, French, uh, Vichy French Navy during World War II. And that was when they were working on it and, and developed the the aqua lung, as they called it. Mm -hmm. Let me... What's the answer you're looking for? The answer I'm looking for is Jacques Cousteau. Um, well, yeah, I guess the question you could argue either way because it says... Who is credited with it? Does it necessarily yes. who definitely did it? But right. actually, I, I, I no, actually, I will accept either one. I'm sorry, I do have all a right. ring. I'll accept the meal or Jacques Cousteau. Thank you. Great. That's okay. That's going to so make all the... the difference to our team score. <laughs> <laughs> when, um, so the color, the color of the alpha flag is white and blue. Oh, oh sorry, you guys. Man. Sorry. We we didn't know it either, Susan. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to Jeff Webb. You didn't talk about it. A plus or minus a color. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. I gotta scroll down for my answers. So number six is 130 feet or 40 meters. Woo, oh. Ramiro! Mm -hmm. Yeah. He should know that. Ramiro should know that because we've been quizzed on it. He was on, <laughs> he got exact right number. Oh. So I will accept 125 to 145 or 
uh, what I say, 30 meters. So 25 to 35. What was five? Five was no, blue. blue. Oh, five, oh, that's right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. My personal um, maximum oh. depth is 155. Okay. <laughs> So my, you my, lucked out. My, mine was, mine was out. eight, eight feet in the in the resort pool, and then my ears hurt <laughs> like hell. And they said, "No, you can't go scuba diving." Mm. They didn't. You can if you learn how properly. to equalize. You have to equalize. Yeah, um, no, no, I have I have problems. I, every time I the plane descends, I get shooting pains no matter what I do. So, and I kind of gave you a hint it's in number seven by saying you couldn't go more than thirty meters. <laughs> um, <laughs> without needing special air mixtures, because as you go down in depth, your body does not handle the processing of nitrogen very well. And one of the side effects that actually happens is not very noticeable at the beginning, um, is what's called nitrogen narcosis, where you feel really great, you feel intoxicated, people have been known to take off their wetsuits, forget <laughs> exactly what they're doing. Um, this is, yeah. and so it's called the martini effect. Um, mm -hmm. that's colloquially mm -hmm. because they say it's like having a martini for about every 10 meters you go so by the time hey, you hit Kyle. you oh. hit 30 mm -hmm. meters you're pretty much intoxicated I mean when I was looking up questions <laughs> to kind of form uh people that free that people that deep dive just using regular plain air like Guinness stopped taking world record attempts for this like in 1995 because too many people were dying trying to attempt it mm -hmm. and there have been people attempting to attempt this in the last like five to ten years and they're ba they it's it's really sad that people are still doing this when there's other options uh, um you have you, 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 mix you can go much yeah deeper. I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> You're not there. Neither am no, I. No, I'm, I'm I'm getting in the water for the first time on Sunday, so that's oh, going to be exciting. You're have yeah. a great time. I guarantee. I'm, I'm afraid of dying. Where, where are you <laughs> so, going? Um, I'm going about three miles from my house. For um, there's a diving uh shop near us that teaches certifications, and so we're we're not sure where we're going to go. Uh, for our you first trip. Okay, you don't know where your open water to. Um, it's going to be in a quarry near us. They've got sunken airplanes and stuff. We'll be able to go check out. So, um, Dan's. So, according to Dan's statistics, the most common injury is actually ear sinus trauma, and oh. that's just because people don't know how to equalize, or they come up a little bit too fast. Or you have uh, a problem biologically and can't do it. Yeah. Right. So was and this is why they. It's not yeah. broken to that. that that's yeah. the funny thing is most people will tell you that the I would look up colloquially that it was a broken toes is the most common injury because people talk about being afraid of being eaten by a shark. That's actually not trauma. a thing. So what's um, the correct answer? Ear or sinus trauma. Mm -hmm. Susan's very upset about that reality. <laughs> I swear I okay. broke a broken toe. Oh. I could have uh, met somebody, but nobody even You can only back. get a broken toe if you drop your scuba tank on your foot. <laughs> so nobody and, really thought yeah. that I were they weren't quite sure because they didn't bet me. <laughs> I, I'm surprised Ramiro did not know that answer since we've been looking at the materials all week. But anyway. He knew the 130 feet. Mm -hmm. the so number nine, the country that is credited that credits themselves as having the second largest coral reef system is Belize. Um, oh, geez. Okay. British Guiana or British yeah. Honduras. British Honduras. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, th I thought it was regular Honduras. Oh, well. It's pretty and cool. according to Patty's corporate statistics of the 28 million, it would be the population of the country of Niger. Um, all of Morocco, Venezuela, and Madagascar. Well, all good thing we put that Disney bigger. movie. But that was last week. This week is yeah. half of that. Oh, Jamie has a very dark, dark sense Ooh. of humor. This what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> I said this week. That was last week. This week, um, in Niger, it's half of that population. <laughs> oh. That this was according to July 16, 2023. So. Uh, it didn't take the cool into effect. Okay, well, oh, according, that's according to the you World, know what? World Bank, you know what? in 2021, <laughs> Venezuela's population was 28.2 million. I didn't think of that. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm just I'm sitting here scanning through. I saw, I saw the headlines, but I haven't read anything about it. But yeah, you're right. I do remember. Something's going on in Greece, too, right? Yeah. Greece oh, is Niger having a lot of fires. Yeah, Niger has a coup. Kicking. Yeah, who's having a lot of fire? Something. Who's in Greece charge? Is how, Greece is who's basically on fire. This? What are we doing? Greece fires? Greece is, Greece, Greece is having oh. some grief fires. My sister's actually supposed to go there Vincent, in a couple you weeks. Missed it. Good, Good. You need to stay on it. Come on, man. Oh no, not late this, not this late at night. Did you guys see the pictures I put in of Richard Saunders when I first met him and, and the guy who's wearing Jeff Wag that's got the shirt on that I thought was yellow? Diver down. Okay, so we're ready for scores. I didn't see anybody no. I recognize as Richard Saunders. Was his girl? How did you not see Richard? No, Scott? the oh, answer is Niger. And the second picture. Okay. Now wait. So the, so the World same Bank picture. population in Niger is twenty five point two five million. I'm still voting for Venezuela. So Susan, um, you posted the same link twice. Okay, yeah, wait one second. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably the problem. Let me that's probably why I don't see him. Hold on. And the population of Madagascar is just under twenty nine million, so it's about twenty eight million. I'm, oh. I'm actually going to post my source because I knew somebody was going to do this. <laughs> yeah, because you said it is per worldmeters.info. Yeah, so this is... Where is the chat? So everybody gets a point? Yeah, all these countries. Population. Those who wrote Niger get a point. Niger is yes. 27 So that is the link I used. Push enter. Oh, it's there. Yes. I'm it's sorry. There. I'm blind. You're correct. I'm blind. <laughs> so if you sort by population. Okay. So, so Venezuela is 8.8. Niger is 27 point. Got two. Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah. if 28 million, so that was. So without going over. Are we done yet? Because I'm <laughs> not prices is right, right rules. Not, not the price is right. Come on. Notice and how we get another round to go. Let's do the scores. Notice yeah. how we get pickier the later it gets. Yes. <laughs> you guys have That's nitrogen good. narcosis. Go away. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did you guys see the picture of Richard Saunders? Yes. Okay. Yes. He had, he had the check, checkerboard shirt on. No. Oh yeah. yeah. Green, and green. Yeah. Okay. I had blue and. Something. Yeah, Blue and green. yeah okay. I had a similar shirt to Jeff Wack. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. I think I think I remember making a comment on it. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, if a post on Twitter was a tweet, is a post on X a eek? We're consistent. Four. Oh my Damn goodness, it. Susan! I just clicked on one of your tabs. <laughs> what? Did that make sense <laughs> to anybody? No. It made no sense to me. Me oh, neither. I got it. I think I hang around with them too much. Okay, so we're too honest to win. I think it's six. Okay, I so. got five. Uh, I thought I thought I had. Oh, five you're right. No, no, uh, we got six because oh, I okay. crossed off that one, and then it was. Yeah, All we right. got six. Indictment, Schadenfreude. Six. Very good, Jordan. Thank you very much for having that timely answer. And the secret word of the day is non-biologic humans. It just doesn't roll off the tongue. It's just not a seven. Non-biologic. Okay. Let's see. Can they hold on to the lead? Pee Wee Herman, can you hold on to it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, seven. Seven. <laughs> wow. You guys kicked ass. <laughs> So far, very good. Okay, we're almost done. Can we do the bonus? Does Robin have something really, really tough for us tonight? But before she we get does. there, I, I hope I have up. something fun. I need somebody for next week, and the pressure is starting to get on here because I need it. So I need it. Since since you're not going to be running it, can you do a category, Susan? Well, yeah. No, I can't guarantee I'll be at a place that has internet, and I won't be driving. Oh, I'm just going to drive until I'm tired, and then Ben and Jordan. Ben and Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, you want to do a category? No? 
I saw I saw Jordan say yes. So but Ben said a, no. That's a, that's a yes. Then. So Jordan, Jordan ben doesn't yes have to do it to me. And then yeah. when if it was going to be Jordan, Jordan was very much a no. No. <laughs> oh, okay. One of those things. Okay, so I'm looking around. Uh, I could ask Caspian if I have Bill's hand. Bill's raising a hand. Bill. <laughs> Bill rose his hand. Thank you, Bill. Either that or Bill's hand is like spasming. That too. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so you've got two people for the following week and I'm sure you can pressure them into, into that. Or we could just, I know there's people like Kevin and- Or we could stop. stop. Next week could be the last time, Susan. What? <laughs> <laughs> just stop. Oh, that's last true. Last time what? ever for trivia. Can yep. you imagine? I would have- it would Two be categories. Like One revolution. category and a bonus. Robin ah. says she has something interesting for us. What do you got for us, Robin? I think it should be fun. I'm looking okay. forward to it. I I'm use right an app right. called Quake Feed to tell me when and where all of the earthquakes are all over the world. <laughs> if you have this app, do not turn it on. <laughs> As of right now, which is quite different from what it was at six o'clock when I last looked, um, what are the the most recent 10 countries that have had earthquakes? Oh. Over what? Uh, around the world, which which countries are? What are you considering, are... A, what are you considering oh, an earthquake? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, they they register tiny little earthquakes. Um, two point. Uh, the first one I see here is two point zero. Oh, what, what, what's hitting? the smallest one registered in your list? Um, right right now the smallest one is two point zero. Okay. Okay. That and might are be they the smallest. ten different places? So but, so but there are Vegas. lots of. Let, let's say that the, the first uh, number one, number two, and number three are all, or one, number two, and number four right now are all from the same country. So what I'm asking for is the, the most recent 10 countries. Uh -huh. okay. In other words, if, if number one, number two, and number four are from the same country, move on to the next country and list that country. And so you have a okay. because of there's moment. lots of clusters of earthquakes. You know, you have one wow. aftershocks sure. stuff. What's the As biggest? A... The biggest I see in this list right now is a five point one. Mm. I see a four point nine. So 4. Do you have this 5. all recorded because if we take too long and come back, the list is going to change. <laughs> well, yeah, it's going to the list is going to be as of when I write it. Okay. Right now. Right Look, now. there's one going on right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, Mark, That's why when, go. when psych psychics always go, there's going to be earthquakes. And let's and see, like, Robin, yeah, yeah. were you the one that killed Betty White? No, 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 <laughs> I'm just me. trying to figure out whether we're all in danger now. <laughs> okay, Are you so triggering the, so earthquakes? You triggered a global earthquake? Okay, according yeah. to the quake feed, as of quake right feed. now, what 10 countries just had an earthquake and right. it's measuring from anywhere from 2.0 to 4.0 what? No, 4.1. Um, I think there's a 5.1. There's okay, a 5.1. 2.0 to 5.1 mm. is what's showing. Yeah. So be interesting. Okay. 2.0. There aren't there aren't any real big ones today. At the moment. My oh. my husband has his set to where it gives him an alarm, a special alarm if if there's one greater than six anywhere in the world. So every time his little alarm goes off, it's a special sound, and we're like, "Ooh, ooh, where is it?" <laughs> not here. It's not here because I'm not feeling it. Okay, let's go to our rooms. Ugh. All right, breakout rooms. Open all rooms. Well, we're not in any danger of winning this thing, so let's just guess the best we can. Japan. <laughs> Japan. I already put the first first one up there, you'll see, because I'm sure Iceland's going to be on that list. Absolutely. They always have earthquakes. Um, India, Japan, India. Well, and the I U.S., know. because Hawaii has them all the time with yeah. the volcanoes. New Zealand, right? Australia. How about China? Aust uh, New Zealand, for sure. And China's huge. Good. It's got to have something on me. Japan. 
Japan. Yeah, Japan needs to be Japan down there. always has earthquakes. How about Vietnam or Korea? Yes, yeah, so we want to put Japan down there. Japan. South Vietnam. South Korea? You could even put Canada. Yeah. Because yeah, you think about the large space. How about Russia? Ooh, that's good. Just because there's so much space, the odds are bigger than like a, a bigger than like a, a, I know they have them all the time in Japan, but the odds are space wise that Russia would have it over Japan. It's very active though, there, isn't it? I don't know. I've, I've never really same with that. iceland iceland's tiny but it's constantly there's a there's actually an eruption going on right now so uh, there will probably be an eruption or an earthquake what's that an no, eruption. They're, they're earthquake. Earthquake. yeah but they still they still measure um the shaking of it, it causes like an they actually grow bananas in iceland huh because the heat from coming up from the the hot water that comes from the earthquakes and the volcanoes makes the, the plants warm enough to grow a tropical plant in Iceland. Isn't I that amazing? Know that. I just learned that. I that's why I wrote Iceland on there. That is something new. I did not know. Um, oh, Adrian. Uh, Canada there. Canada constantly has earthquakes. Well, if you look at the list, yeah. that makes 10. If that, you want to uh, put... a Barbie movie thing that you guys did on Squaring Strange was excellent. And I was telling people, you weren't here at the time, but I was telling everybody, I, I didn't understand that last scene where she, I did not get it until, until well, but... um, Celestia says, explains what it was. And I was yeah. like, oh, that makes sense now. But boy, all the people in my group when we, we we said what the hell was why did she say oh, that? Really? i thought you got, nobody you got, got it. it nobody got it well greta cool. gerwig in an interview i read an interview after the movie greta gerwig said yeah it's to make it's like she was a real one so she's well, excited to get the because colleges. gail hasn't seen it but the thing is 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 to be proud of your body, not to be ashamed to go see a doctor right. who specializes in, in the yeah, but we didn't female anatomy. That. You so know, I just put a, I just did a, an edit on a Wiki, on the Wikipedia page on that for the Barbie, hey, yeah. thanks the Barbie for movie that. to add yeah. to add what um um Ben had said, huh? Yeah, what yeah. On well, the I was really frustrated because it only stuff. had the negative part of the study, which is so typical. It didn't do the. A third, like it didn't specify the age it just said oh yeah people have bad body image when they play with dolls right or with barbie but really it's not true according to has it stuck yeah that's that's why i put in the edit you asked me to do that and i, I did it. I, and i appreciate that <laughs> well i appreciated knowing how to do it because it's a multiple language yep it's right still, and it's the it's first time i've done an edit on a multiple language site so uh -huh. it took me a long time to learn how to do it. And I felt very satisfied when I was successful. Nice. <laughs> Looks like you did it right, too. Eventually. And it's still an hour's work. I'm surprised. I thought people would be like, oh, no, we can't have. We can't have that. Let me see. I'm curious to see the Barbie movie, but it was uh, good. Not, uh, not in theaters, though. It was the very uh, first movie that I've ever gone to. I think all by myself. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> hey, Vincent, why don't you want to go see Barbie in the um, theaters? Too many people. Because too many people, and it's expensive. I and... can't believe how expensive it was. What? Yeah, no. it's it's <laughs> astronomically expensive. I was shocked. The last time I went to a movie was like twelve bucks. This was twenty two. No way. And you well, it was your... eleven over here. We paid nine, didn't we, Cindy? Yeah, well, so senior discounts. I didn't. I'm no senior. So I it was. I think we paid it nine. Was, it, was it was eleven three dollars cheaper on Monday than it was on the weekend, but it was still over twenty bucks. That's crazy, Gail. I know. I could not see edit, the last time I it was twelve bucks. That was on the cool. edit you made, Gail. Yeah. There's a space that needs to be made uh, between when you look at it. It's got like. It says 
let me sh let me I have to show you I can't oh let me stop sharing then so right here it says there's I don't want to edit it if you've already edited it so right here you have to have a space right here see how it's blending into the citation oh yeah and then you can say who Radford is because you don't say who Radford is so you can say according to However, according to Ben Radford and hyperlink to him. Yes. Or you could say, according to researcher, what would we call him? Investigator? No, just put according to Ben Radford. Yeah. And then hyperlink to him. You know, this is this is some of comes from where we come from. Because in scientific writing that I've the kind of writing I've done, you just put the author's name. So I did it the way I always do it. Yeah, but so I can write yeah, Ben Radford. They I don't know who Radford is. Well, the, when you look at the reference, you can see it. Yeah, but you can say it the first time. But later, okay. the article, I will put it in. Say more yeah, than and then hyperlink. Yeah, one. yeah. Then you would put just Radford, but we it's better. And do the hyperlink because he has a because he has a page. Has a page, yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay. otherwise, it's do that. Oh, and one more thing. Let me, hmm. let me show you one more thing. Do you know what a pain in the ass I am? No, I want to learn this stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm just a pain in the ass. Just make it so that there's no space between the period. I do that all the time. It drives me nuts. Just and move that down. citation the next space. to the period. I, I I will tell you that I will try to do that one, but I might need your help to do that all one. All you do is just correct the space. There's a space. I know. Factor. You want, you don't understand. I didn't have my two, what are they called? Those things you, those. Martinis? Huh? martinis <laughs> the squiggle thing oh the uh uh tilde yeah but that you don't call it tilde tilde you say what did you say you called it you you gave it a name in the training yeah the little wiggly wormy thing yeah anyway i knew i needed the back one and i never put them in the right place that's what took me half of a half an hour to find the right place and that's what gave that space because I think I put it, I finally found that one of the problems I had was I was leaving a space where I shouldn't, right? And when I took away that space, it worked. And I, I said, good. To... <laughs> well, I, I will try to fix that. But see, I am the things on... that you did are all complicated. The stuff that you did is all, you did everything else right. I'm well, just I have to do it over like a space. And a, it's just, it's just a, it's just a, Weird thing. Out of space in one Susan, I had to do it from scratch because like the, the the thing that helped you do it where you just fill in the chart didn't work. And I finally figured out I couldn't find it anywhere. And it's because it's in like 16 languages. And I'm sure that's it why should, it didn't work. It or at least I there. couldn't find it. Um there maybe I need to hold you need you to hold my hand for a little bit. But I managed to around. I mean I file I copied another one and I did it. That's the way to do it. Out. Yeah, it's just under templates, site web. I couldn't find templates. It's right here. Let me show you. They were, they're about to cancel us out. Yeah, Maybe right we're finished. So we're yeah, there it says template, but it wasn't there. There was no template there. That it's probably was uh, this box thing was either hidden on you because it's like, oh, it's right here. See where it's a site? I, I didn't have, the site wasn't there either. Well, then this was hidden somehow. But when you hit site, then the template pulls up and then you can find the site web. It must Yeah, been. that's what I went. I hit site and nothing, and it, it came up with something different. But you're doing an editing Barbie, so that's got to be there. I'll yeah, have to try it again. Somewhere. But I had to do it without a template, and I did it. And I was really proud of myself that I did it without yeah, a template. You sure did. Uh, I'm going to need you to hold my hand because I'm working on creating a new page and I don't know how to do it. But I've got all the research done now. I've got all that reference stuff on that on that thing. I think I've got enough to do it, but I don't know how to do a new page. So when Just you have do time, backwards edits over and over and over and then well, I have. To all right. Hmm. You guys ready for the answer? I heard yeah, that. we got yeah. it though. We got it. I'm just gonna put it in the chat. The California, sure. California, 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 California. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Um, oh. Oh, yeah. 
The very hmm. first one that's on there is Puerto Rico, but I count that as the United States. There's a couple. And then there's one from the Northern Marianas Islands, which is also part of the United States. Oh, there's a bunch we didn't do. There's one in the Philippines. Was there's one. Hmm. I don't see We're anything recent anything from the Philippines. Eritrea, interesting. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in Japan. It's a little island. Not today. It's not, it's today. not that they have. It's not that they're having earthquakes. It's it's having them now. It's yeah. They it, haven't no, had no, one today. Would you would you would you read them for the recording? Thank you. Please. Uh, yes. Fine. The first one is USA. There's been a lot in the United States today in California, in, in Oregon, in in Alaska. Use a um, funny voice. I want you to use an international. I want you to use a your fake fake old lady voice from from Britain. What? What? <laughs> when you read them out loud, I want you to use. You know, you, you, you're you, you, you having gummies or something? Uh, Susan? I don't. First. I can't do it. Caspian's really good at it. I. have a big Latin. <laughs> don't think so. Okay, um, Susan, giddy. <laughs> so the United States, China, Indonesia, Colombia, Fiji, China, 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 China. 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 Indonesia, Colombia, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, which is actually um, the one from New Zealand is the Kermadec Islands, which are near New Zealand and part of New Zealand. Um, and India, Eritrea, and Chile. Who has the biggest one on that list? Biggest country, largest what country. The biggest biggest earthquake. Five point one. Oh, the biggest earthquake was five point one in Colombia. Palmyra. What is that? Today they they're all today. Oh, uh, okay. every single one of these things okay. is today. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, there are several in Hawaii and Alaska, several in California. Several in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has been quite active today. Do you have a feel for using that map? How many would tend to happen in 24 hours? Um, so it, we're closing in on the end of a 24 hour period. So let me just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27. Wow. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 today. Wow. But do you know what? 2.0 is not almost not even an earthquake. Mm. Yeah. That's like, yeah. They don't tell us that. that we had even one in New Jersey about six years ago. We were under our desks. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, Seattle had or to make me at least a four to make me like stand up. Over the weekend, Seattle had two at two point six because mm. of the uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, company. sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They weren't actual yeah. earthquakes. They were just registering on the on the. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you know, I, I would imagine that if there's an earthquake in North Korea, it's not going to be on the Quake Feed app because I doubt they have any any equipment in North Korea, right? But can't they triangulate from other other you know, maybe maybe around? Well, uh, that's what they can. Yeah, the tri triangulation is how they get all the information about the earthquakes in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they can. The problem so if there's a massive earthquake in North Korea, they're on their own, up. right? They, they wouldn't allow anybody to go in and help. Depends on who killed. Maybe if it's well, China, China, maybe they'd let China go in. Well, in the words of Lex Luthor from Superman the movie, we all have our faults. Mine's in California. <laughs> we talked about <laughs> that already. <laughs> oh, groan. Scars. Okay, let's go to our scores. That was good, Robin. Something totally different. Yay! That was fun. Okay. So we're going to go down here to the team that I was on. And that is if a post on Twitter was a tweet, is a post on X a eek? We consistently got another four. Wow. <laughs> you guys like it more. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we're going to get last place. We're too honest to win. That was so helpful. <laughs> Five. All right. 
And then all right. Indictment Schrittenfreuder for any 3D. We got five. Hey, woo! The secret word of the day is non-biologic humans. Five. Wow. Didn't we get six? Which six? USA, Chile, Indonesia, New Zealand, China, and Colombia. Oh, I didn't think we had Colombia. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I know I mentioned Colombia, but oh, I don't know. You it didn't You're make right. the final list. You're right. Okay, so we're going to find out. Did they have more than three? Yeah, we had six. Wow. Oh. Everybody's disappointed that you got yeah. <laughs> We would have done better, but I talked them out of Columbia. We're, we're yeah. all shook up. So they're good. Oh, these are gross. Uh -huh. hey, it's not my fault. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh. Jesus Murphy. Carl talking to my. Minute, Did you say Jesus Murphy? Yeah. You guys are, you're on a roll. <laughs> Some groundbreaking humor. <laughs> here, here it makes a little more sense because a roll is what earthquakes do. They yeah. Roll in yeah the, the, who, who won the round? The game isn't really earth shattering. Everybody should shake their screen. <laughs> well, my, my team didn't do too well, but it's not I all have my an fault. earthquake right now. I can't move. Your team screen. didn't do well. God, ours is like God last place. But what's it that we had an earthquake? Wasn't it Richard when we were doing? Yeah, uh, you guys were doing uh, uh, the Australian yeah. prediction project. Yeah, uh, an we were talking happened. about natural disasters and Michelle Biggismar was Thanks. there, and suddenly the room started shaking. There was an earthquake in Melbourne as we were doing Melbourne, it in Australia as they <laughs> were talking about natural disasters. And we 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 weren't recording. Good night, it, Alan. Good night, guys. So Good night, Alan. Night, Alan. See you next week. 46, you again, 46, 46 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, right? Yeah. I mean, About, almost yeah. every half an hour it averages. That means a psychic can say we'll have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's we'll yeah. have an earthquake and they won't nobody, be wrong. Nobody is going to take that one because they're not real earthquakes. I mean, they're, they're not predicting where. Like good night, everybody. I had a good, good time. Night. Good night, Jordan. Good night, Saturday, good night. Month. All right, see ya. See you soon. I'll, I'll talk to you, Susan, about Hi, George. Yeah, let me know when you figure it out because I'm, I don't know. These, I've never heard of most of these people. They're, you know what? The thing about um, earthquakes in Japan, I think that uh, there's scientific evidence. I've read about this. I can't, I don't know if my terminology is correct, but uh, the, the, where the fault line is in Japan, it tends to be sticky. So they tend to have fewer, but they're larger. Um, Whereas in California, we tend to have more smaller ones because the fault lines, they're more slipping. A lot they're, of slipping. All, they're also a, a lot more faults in California than elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The, Thanks for noticing. Area, there are 10 major faults. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> I think Oregon's sticky. Well, could be. Well, what's scary in Japan is I, I think Tokyo is sitting on three major faults. Yeah. And I remember mm. listening to one geologist saying, Tokyo, the city waiting to die. Mm. Uh, you know, well, I've heard it, that about Seattle, well, they, too. Well, they had that huge quake in, what, 1912? They had the quake, mm. yeah. And if they did something similar to that today, they were talking about trillions of dollars in damages. Mm. And it's going to happen. Matter of time. Well, That's I think a lot of the buildings us. in Japan, a lot of the buildings are very well engineered for um, a large shake. Not mm -hmm. as well. We as, aren't. Well, remember the Kobe earthquake? And it killed uh, quite a few where we had the same size quake here in California and we lost like half a dozen people. Japanese uh, are years behind us in terms of earthquake technology. You know, they don't, they they claim they're really good, but when that Kobe earthquake hit, it mm. devastated the area. Mm. Well, well, the I, problem maybe, was the tidal wave. Well, that was that other one. Yeah. That was the, um, um, what do you call it? The, uh, Kobe uh, That was, what was the that Fukushima one? plant had the, the whole yeah, the, tsunami right. because, because of the tsunami. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. I've been scary. through earthquakes, and the only We're reason I know is because I was looking at my monitor at the time it was happening and saw it just shake just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I had that happen. I had it. I was working at Western Oregon University in the biology department. I had a huge fish tank sitting on my desk. And I was on the phone to a chemical company in Seattle ordering chemicals for the cadavers. And she goes, oh my, and they had some deaths there, but she was going, we're having an earthquake. And she said the chemicals were walking towards the edge of the oh shelf. My gosh. <laughs> she, was like, <laughs> she was like freaking out. And I look over and my fish tank is slopping. So I'm feeling the same earthquake that was major in Seattle at the time. <laughs> one, there was one that happened in DC, I think in 2011, and we were at work. I and remember we, that. And it was literally like, did your monitor just shake? Did you feel the ground move underneath us? And then suddenly <laughs> we couldn't get a cell phone signal because everybody was messaging each other. And when I was in college, I was sitting at my like computer and I saw just the edge of my monitor kind of vibrate and it looked really weird to me. And then I read the news like the next day and they said there was like a 1.2 or something that had happened in the mountains. And I was like, oh, a 1.2? Something like something that. I was like, that, that was probably bigger earthquake. than that. <laughs> but I never would have noticed it if I hadn't been looking at my screen. And it looked really weird because I was like, am I hallucinating? Is this real? Like, did I knock something? What well, in, 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 in our about? part of the world, it's like, where were you during the Loma Prieta earthquake? Or yeah. where were you during the Northridge earthquake? Or where were what? you? I, mean, I, was watching, I was watching the World Series for the Loma Prieta. Yep. 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 I was in Safeway and bottles were falling on the floor. I was at work. Uh, I wow. had a jar of mustard in the upper shelf of uh, my kitchen cupboard. Uh, the earthquake happened, the Loma Prieta earthquake, and when I got home, that jar of mustard was in the lower shelf in that same cupboard. Oh, but wow. not oh, broken. Wow. It had it been just knocked walked. out, hit, and put back by the uh, the door swinging back in. At least. Oh, wow. Wow. That, oh, wow. that's what that's what i that have been a brilliant to see on a video if some video had captured was, that. was it sitting neatly on no, the shelf no it, it was it was uh was it sitting on, on its bottom it was it, it wasn't in a rolling condition so it was standing it, upright it was standing that's upright that's pretty yeah. amazing what, that's what they said too. was I, mustard being I, stored in plastic or glass at that point uh, well, this was a glass jar, so it would have been very messy if it had make it made it down to the uh, to the because counter. Because we were looking at the earthquake, and we won't tell you how old we were when it happened. <laughs> Robin, what was that website that you or uh, that app? Uh, the oh, app is uh, called Quake Feed. Oh, okay. Quake Feed. Yeah. It's so yeah, and you can you can set it sure like free. To you can set it to like no, only notify you for ones that are near you or for a yes, or, level. Yes, or, you can you set know. up notifications. And I yeah. haven't. The settings, oh. let me see, the settings say. And it'll give you the map of where it is and um, other, de like if if there's a, um, you know, tsunami warning associated. Yeah, with yeah, it. yeah definitely. Like warn you if like it's if an earthquake warning goes out or something like that i think that does that too although i don't think i've ever gotten one the tsunami but... warning would be useful yeah i'm uh, gonna send it to all my, my, my family's yeah. had a couple times that they've needed to evacuate for tsunami warnings really mm. well during the yeah because we're right one... the ocean could just roll in for and my sister mm. has a boarding kennel for dogs a commercial kennel Oh. And they had enough time. She loaded every single one of her customers' dogs in a van and another car, plus some chickens <laughs> and all her kids, <laughs> and went way up out of the tsunami zone. <laughs> so we're, you know, we're we're in coastal California. What my, where I live is about a little over five miles from the ocean, and I'm low enough that if there was a humongous wave, it might get here, mm -hmm. but. When the Fukushima earthquake happened, 
there were literally people living further inland than me who drove to the top of the nearest high, like, I don't know, 1,200, 1,300 foot pass that goes over to the <laughs> other side because they were afraid that the water was going to get them, you know, a lot of people who 10 miles included, inland. Like, Did they put out a nurse? A tsunami warning for that? No, no yeah. everybody. Heard, I don't know if they did or not, yeah, but everybody we knew about the not earthquake. Not to go to the water. I mean, not to go to the beach. But it was yeah, like, not to go to the beach. But like, they were already. The they were up at the top of what's called Los Lorelos Grade. I mean, it's like, <laughs> and then people in Moss Landing, which is is on the water, went up to the high ground there. That made a little more sense. That makes more sense. I wonder if they went. But, to the I mean, went to our sea. community is really good about putting out tsunami warnings mm. or over at the farm this is over at the farm not here uh -huh. at my house i was gonna say what yeah. <laughs> so, so i'm yeah, no. up to here real quickly from so, earthquakes to another devastating um thing and uh janice boyton who has just come out with the newest video on her youtube channel fc is not science only 47 subscribers that's really embarrassing because she does a lot of work and these are really tough this video that she's put out is uh, is a little boy that I have seen multiple times on morning TV. It is, I haven't seen this, but I know what's going to be there because I know exactly who this person is she's talking about. And if you can't handle disturbing videos, you can't watch this. But if you think you can stomach it, you should definitely see this because this is a, a, a whole world of people out there think this child is, um, I'll put it in the chat, think this is good. And that they're helping and people applaud whenever they do this. It's extremely disturbing to watch. I, I Like I said, I haven't watched this, but I, I know exactly where this is going because I've seen this many times. So when you have a chance, you might want to, if you think you can stomach it, watch it. This is what's happening with the solar You, you want to give us a hint, Susan? Susan, are you going to put this on uh, Yeah, Facebook? I put it in the chat. It's in my, it's on my Facebook feed right now. And oh, it it's is. in the okay. chat right now. If, if, if you look at the picture, of the the main picture she has as the thumbnail you'll know what's going on it's pretty yeah. awful no i, yeah. I, I can't watch those i i saw them the you know i saw i know what they do yeah, this this one's one of the worst i've ever seen this is just the worst from from working in family law for all these years which is kind of like being an armchair psychiatrist yeah i think a lot of these people are munchausen by proxy they they, the attention. they yeah. get attention by yeah. having their child be uh, needy, yeah. sick, and yeah. they use it to get attention for themselves. Well, and most in facilitating communication, the children are hidden geniuses. So it's uh -huh. the opposite. They take a child who's very... But either uh, way, they're getting uh, attention for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Highly, yeah. High, highly autistic. Uh, not I don't want to say autistic. They're very developmentally know. limited. Yeah, their communication is not like what we're doing right now, and they insist that their child is just as capable as any other child. My child mm -hmm. can go to college. My child can do this. My child can do that. My child can write poetry. He can write books. You know, they insist this genius element. Yeah, the, these so kids who've ne never gone to school have never like had that. suddenly kind of they're they're turning out master's level college well, uh, valedictorians in college yeah yeah so uh -huh. this little boy right here it's it's the same thing um janice says it's like a coping mechanism that these people you know you see these parents that have children and they're like oh they're never going to be what you think because you think they're going to grow up go to college get married have grandchildren you know have successful careers you think these wonderful things for their children and then when they come out and they're they have they're disabled in this way okay. they just can't deal with it there's no way they can deal with it so what they do is in some pretend case, they, they pretend, pretend they find some pseudoscience mm -hmm. but this one's just so appalling because you can see the little boys suffering mm -hmm. and they have them on morning tv all they were always doing this and the mom's like holding his head and and people are like oh this is so wonderful oh wow and it's like you are abusing this child on TV yep. and everybody has to be able to see it. How can you not see this? And sure. people are like, oh, this is so sweet. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's like torture. They're torturing this poor little boy. It's awful. It looks like Robin's watching oh. it. I, I no, no, it. I'm playing Candy Crush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
And it's Haven't you played stuff. all of the Candy Crush by now? Oh, I like it level 6,000. They make levels especially for Robin. They say, oh, we better come out with another level because that Robin Welsh over there <laughs> it's it's almost got it. You're going to have to start yeah. numbering the levels in scientific notation. No. Yes. Really? I've known Seriously. Robin to play Ro uh, Candy Crush since she's like 2009 or something. Yeah, 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 at least when 10 years. When it came years. out, here she is. I'm playing Candy Crush. <laughs> Well, you know, night, I, do it, I do it like when I when Hi, I walk with my dogs and stuff. Bye, Bill. Yeah, and when you're white, when Hi. you're talking in trivia, I know. I yeah, and when I'm doing other things, you know, because it's yeah. it's just a thing that kills time. And I play it's... solitaire, yeah. but I play it on my computer when I'm watching movies, and I don't want to. Otherwise, I will. It helps me to focus because I can watch the movie and then still do solitaire but okay i need to go to work tomorrow so i'm gonna go me too me right. too Bye, everybody. Good, good to guys. see y'all so the next two weeks yeah, next i week. only see you as just a regular canon you know play person i suppose so you guys have okay have Sounds a lot good. of fun I all right i'll be around probably okay. Bye. good night Bye, everybody. Bye. all right Bye.